Rylan, it's your turn to climb the rope. No problem. This is gonna be easy. Yeah, go Rylan! Awesome! <laughs> You're the best, Ned. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. You did great, Rylan. Well done. Okay, up next is... Oh, great. Owen. Okay, I've got this. <laughs> yeah, right. This ought to be good. Chop, chop, Owen. All right, get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's so weak, he can't even lift his own body weight. Dude, leave me alone. All right, that's enough, you poor loser. Try it again. Okay. Come on. <laughs> hey, Owen, maybe you should just stick to lifting pencils. Shut up, dude. Can I try it again? Nope, just give up, Owen, all right? You look like a total loser. Class dismissed. Oh my gosh, dude, look. And he's done it again. Mark Mansley wins. Dude, Mark Mansley is so cool. He's my hero. Oh, yeah, he's the best. I'm going to be the strongest man on earth, okay? Just like Mark Mansley. What are you, stupid? No, Dad, I'm not stupid. Well, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Dad, back off. No, your brother always does this, Brian. He gets these big, stupid ideas in his head, and he's never going to be strong. Not like you, even if he wants to be. I might not be strong like Brian is, okay? But I could be strong, too. I I just need a train. No, you don't. It's a waste of your time. No, it's not, Dad. Yes, it is. You'll always be weak, Owen. Just accept it. That's not true, dude. Yeah, I know. I know I could be stronger. Yeah, you will, because I'm going to help you. Wait, really? Of course. Just promise me you're never going to give up, no matter how tough it gets. I won't give up. I promise. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, sweet. Now, just because you're my little brother doesn't mean I'm going to go easy on you. Got it? Got it. I want to be as strong as you, dude, and I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, that's the spirit. Now, I've got a strongman competition coming up, so I need to do some more training. I was thinking we'll start with a short jog around the neighborhood. Jogging? Okay, but I'm not very fast. Not yet, but you will be. It's just around the neighborhood and back. You got this. Yeah, I got this. All right, let's go. No way. Is that Owen? <laughs> Oh, man, this is tough. Ah! Are you okay, dude? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm posting this online for everyone to see. They got to know how pathetic you are. You filmed me? I had to. You just look so stupid. <laughs> you know what? You look stupid, Rylan. Now get lost. Yeah, whatever, just because you're bigger than me, stupid idiot. This is dumb. What am I even thinking? Maybe Rylan is right. He's not right, and you can't give up. You made me a promise. Yeah, you're right. Okay, now let's keep going. Oh, man, this is so sick. I can't wait to do my own strongman competition one day. Ha, keep dreaming, kid. Now shut up. Your brother's up. Give it up for our next contestant, Brian. Brian, it's about an attempt to lift 500 pounds. Go, Brian. Yeah, you can do it. Uh, uh. And he's done it. Oh, my gosh. Give it up one more time for Brian, winner of our competition. Great job, kid. Thanks, Dad. Can't believe I won. Of course you did. You're capable of anything. I'm so proud. Out of you. you killed it, dude. I can't wait to get up there one day and do this with you. Oh, and shut up. That's not happening. Dad, come on. No, he's trying to take away your moment. No, I'm not. And it's gonna happen, Dad. All right, Brian's been training me. Wait, what? Yeah, he has. And I'm gonna get stronger every day until I become the strongest man on earth. You are never gonna be strong like your brother. Ugh, just give it up. And you need to stop wasting your time training your brother. Just focus on yourself. Let him be weak. Dude, I'm so sorry. I don't get why Dad's acting like this. Yeah, it's just whatever. I'm gonna prove him wrong one day. Yeah, you will. And I'm not gonna stop helping you, dude. Tomorrow, we take the next step. Next step? Yeah, you'll see. You really want to buy a membership to my gym, do ya? Definitely. Okay, uh, here's the application. And here's the first month's membership fee. Okay, great. Here's your membership card, kid. Welcome to the Iron Gym. Remember, wipe down the equipment when you're done, and don't be gross. I hate it when people are gross. I got it. Thanks. So, I did it. I got my first gym membership. Oh, sick. I'm so proud of you, man. Thanks, dude. I'm really excited. And you know, I bet Dad would just tell me this is a waste of my money. Aw, oh, forget Dad. He doesn't Need to know any of this we'll keep it our secret now let's start training all right i'm ready oh whoa dude that's sick yeah took me a while to get there but now it's your turn my turn yeah dude you gotta get stronger right come on give it a shot okay that's it you almost got it ow, ow. oh no owen 
I'm fine, Dad. The doctor just said I need to be off my feet for a few days. You're not fine, Owen. You're acting stupid and dumb. And now I have to pay for your hospital bill. I'm not dumb. Well, what you did was dumb. At least he's okay. And you! I am so disappointed in you. I told you to stop wasting your time training your brother. And you didn't listen. Now look at this. I want him to train me, and I'm not gonna let this stop me. I'm gonna go back into that gym once I'm ready. Oh, no, you're not. You're gonna stop all of this nonsense. You're never gonna be strong. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Come with me. Glad you're feeling better, dude. Yeah, I just feel better if dad supported me like he does to you. Greg, dude. Hey, man. I just came by to check on you. How's it going? It's okay. You just miss my dad being a total jerk. Yeah, what else is new? He wants me to give up my dream of being a strong man. And you're not going to because you're super stubborn, right? Of course not. Classic Owen. Oh, by the way, here. Mrs. Green wanted me to give you your homework. This has got to be done by tomorrow. Tomorrow? Great. I mean, what else are you doing? You're basically stuck in bed. But look, I'm proud of you for working so hard on this dream of yours, man. Thanks, Greg. And hey, thanks for bringing me the homework. Yeah, don't thank me yet. The math homework is tough. Feel better. Yeah. Thanks. I'll try. Dude, Dr. Lemon said I should be good to start working out again next week. Oh, that's, uh, good, man. Yeah, that's good. What's wrong? Oh, all right, I gotta tell you. Dad said if I kept training you, he won't let me sign up for any more strongman competition. What? You can't be serious. I am. He blames me for what happened to you, and honestly, kind of do too. This wasn't your fault, man. Yeah, it is. I told you to sign up for that gym, and I maybe pushed you a little too hard. You're just not ready for it. What? Dude, don't apologize, okay? I am ready. You even said it yourself. I thought we could sign up for a strongman competition coming up in a few months. Wait, really? Are you serious? Yeah, there's an amateur division, but now with what Dad said... I don't know if it's a good idea. Come on, man. We don't have to tell him. What? Yeah, we can train and do the competition in secret. Yeah, like that will go over well. Dude, I want to do this more than anything. Everyone thinks I'm weak and I'll amount to nothing. But you told me not to give up on myself and this is what I'm trying to do. You promised to have my back and that means you can't give up on me either. You're right. Okay, look, I'll sign us up and we'll start training next week. And just make sure. Don't worry, okay? Dad will never know a thing. Hey, I'm gonna go hang out at the arcade later today. You should come with me. I, I can't. I have to train with Brian. We're gonna enter a strongman competition together. Hold up, seriously? Yeah, dude. I signed up a couple weeks ago. My first strongman competition. I'm so pumped. You sure you didn't enter a pathetic loser competition? <laughs> Just leave us alone, Rylan. No, shut up, nerd. Dude, think whatever you want, okay? I've been going to the gym and I'm getting stronger. You, you've been going to a gym? Yeah, the iron gym. You might think I'm weak, but I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> Owen, oh, you'll always be weak. My grandma can lift more weight than you. I bet you still can't even climb the rope. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Owen, don't. Don't worry. I got this. Hey, everyone, look. Check it out. Owen's gonna try to climb the rope. <laughs> Come on, Owen. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess you were wrong, Rylan. Yeah, Rylan. And, oh, I have to go or else I'm gonna be late to the gym. Oh, yeah? That's what you think. Hey, Dad, can you do me a favor? I told you, you're out of here! You can't do this! Oh, yeah? It's my gym! I can do what I want! Hey, what's going on? Apparently, you and I are now banned from this iron gym! What? Yeah, that's right! You two gross losers are banned from ever working out here again! Why? We didn't do anything! We always wipe down the equipment! Yeah, I don't care! My son, Rylan, hates you! And he told me to never let you work out here again! Wait, you're Rylan's dad? That jerk that keeps picking on you? Yeah, that's him! Yeah, well, I don't know, Rylan! Rylan told me to ban you two, and Rylan always gets what he wants, all right? This is ridiculous. I've been working out here for years. Yeah, well, your time is up. Now both of you get lost before I call the police and get you arrested for trespassing. Ugh, so your bully just got us banned from the only gym in town? Dude, I had no idea this was going to happen. How did he even know you worked out here? Uh, I told him? You, ugh, unbelievable. Now I've got no gym to train at. This is so stupid. Dude, come on, talk to me. Not now. I am so mad. Now I have to work out here and train for the strongman competition. And I don't even have all the equipment I need. Look, I'm sorry, Brian, but we can still make this work. I just need to figure out how we're going to train without dad finding out. Maybe we can sneak out at night when he's asleep? We? 
Oh no, I'm gonna train here. You should probably drop out of the competition. You can't be serious. Drop out and just give up? No way, you told me you were never gonna give up on me. There's gonna be other competitions, dude. If dad finds out, he's gonna lose it. If dad finds out what? Oh, great. That, uh... I got banned from the gym. Banned from the gym? Brian, what the heck? Yeah, I guess I wasn't wiping equipment down right or whatever. Well, that's stupid. I should go down there and give them a piece of my mind. No, Dad, it's not worth it. I'll just train here and I'll still win that strongman competition coming up. Yeah, well, you better. And you. Who, me? Yes, you. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Exactly. Go inside and do your homework. Leave your brother alone. Hey, you didn't tell him the truth. It was my fault we got banned. Yeah, well, I just didn't want to make him even more mad. Look, I gotta train and clear my head. I got it. And I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, and I guess my dad said he even cried like a little baby. <laughs> oh, look, there he is. Owen! Big baby Owen! Hey, Owen, you got no gym to work out at now, huh? Yeah, thanks to you. I did you a favor. So that way you wouldn't embarrass yourself. That's not why you did it. You did it because you're a jerk. Maybe. And maybe I wanted to remind you of what a weak loser you really are. And guess what? I'm strong enough now to enter a strongman competition. Yeah, right. I've seen wet noodles with more strength than you. Back off, Rylan. Yeah, whatever. You losers are a waste of my time. See you at the strongman. Oh, wait. I won't, because you won't be there. <laughs> Wait, you're quitting the competition? I just need to find somewhere to train. Somewhere to train, huh? Well, I think I might have an idea. Wait, really? You have something in mind? Yeah, I do. I'll show you after school. You're not going to believe this. Dude, this is a dump, literally. I know. I usually come here to find parts for the robots I built. Okay, so why did you bring me here? Come check this out. Everyone throws away all their heavy trash here. I saw this the other day and I thought of you. Whoa. Yeah, dude, I thought this could be perfect. I can start training here now and there's no way my dad will find out. I already talked to the owner too. He said you could come by whenever you like. Thanks for this, Greg. You're a great friend. And you're gonna show everyone how strong you really are. Better get to it. I'm gonna go look for some robot parts. Yeah, time to show everyone how strong I really am. Ah, ah. Uh, okay, I got this. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, Dad, I'm leaving, and I'll be back in a couple hours. Is all your homework done? Yeah, it is, but I'm gonna help Greg with his. All right, fine. Why are you still wearing those workout clothes? What? I like them. Uh, whatever, just go help your silly nerd friend, and be home before your curfew. Yeah, you got it. Later, Dad. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you didn't drop out of the competition? What? What are you talking about? I'm not stupid. You've been going out every afternoon to help one of the smartest kids in school with his homework? So where are you training, huh? Dude, uh, come on. I'm not training. Tell me the truth. All right, dude, look. I've been training at a dump, okay? A dump? Dude. Yeah, I know. And I know you told me to drop out of the competition, but I just can't stop, man. This is my dream. I told you I want to be the strongest man on earth. I know you do. I was wrong to tell you to stop. Look, and I'm just keeping my promise to my brother. I'm here for you, bro. Now you have to win that competition. Especially that Ryland's now competing. Yeah, and I'm gonna beat him. Just wait. I believe in you, man. Good luck, and don't let Dad find out. Thanks, dude, and uh, I'll try. Let's see. Oh, aha! Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. Dude, that's sick. I know, right? What sick is your technique, brother? Oh, oh my gosh, you're the one and only Mark Mansley. <laughs> and who might you be? I'm Owen, and this is my friend. Uh, oh, I mean Greg. Good to meet you both, Owen. Let me show you a trick to improve your lifting technique. Ah, this is how you should be properly lifting things like this. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Mansley. That, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so insane. I've seen you here a few times. Why aren't you working out at a normal gym, hmm? Uh, it's a long story. He's been banned from the only gym in town. Greg, what the heck? Oh, the Iron Gym. Yeah, I know that owner. The man's an idiot. Well, I want to be the strongest man on earth one day, just like you. So I have to train somewhere. 
What are you training for? The local amateur strongman competition. Okay then, keep training and don't give up. That's what I did, and that's what made me the champion in the ring, brother. Maybe I'll see you at the competition. <laughs> Dude, that was Mark Mansley, and he knows who I am now. Dude, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Mark Mansley. I think he's gonna be at the strongman competition. He's gonna see me compete. Oh, and you're making this up. No, dude, I'm serious. Ask Greg. What was that, Owen? Oh, nothing. Owen just met Mark Mansley, Dad. Can you believe it? What I can't believe is that your stupid little brother is still going after this dumb dream of his. Competing in a strongman? You think I wouldn't hear you? Yeah, Dad, I am. So you've been lying to me this whole time. Uh, just no! Brian, give your brother and I a minute now. I don't care how mad you are, Dad. I'm still training. Of course I'm mad at you. This is your brother's thing, not yours. Yeah, well, why can't it be both of our thing? Brian supports me in this. Well, I don't. I forbid you from joining that strongman. And you're now grounded for a month. What? No, you can't just do that. I just did. Now go to your room. I can't even look at you. Yeah, whatever. You know what? I don't care what he says. There's no way I'm missing that competition. Next up to the platform, Rylan. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I know. I know. Man, I hate that guy. You're telling me. Dude, what are you doing here? Dad grounded you and he's in the crowd right now. He'll see. Yeah, well, I don't care, dude. I'm doing this whether he likes it or not. Hey, ah, he -he, that was easy. And I'm glad I showed up just in time. And next up, Owen. What? I thought you quit the competition, you weak loser. Yeah, well, think again, Rylan, because I'm never going to quit. Rylan, step aside, please. We got a competition we're doing. All right, here goes nothing. Come on, Owen. Come on! <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah? Well, you know what? Let's do it again. Add 20 pounds. You know what? Make it 40. <laughs> oh, wow, incredible. Now let's see if Owen can match him. Oh, come on. I wasn't expecting to do this. Here we go. Uh, uh. Ah! Wow, what a very, very epic fail. Okay, Rylan wins. <laughs> I told you, you're always going to be weak. Thank you, thank you. Now, where's my money? You did good up there, dude. Yeah, but I didn't win. Oh, who cares? You'll get him next time. I'm proud of you. Well, I'm not. Dad, Owen killed it up there. Yeah, I told you I could be strong. Well, I don't care. I am so furious that you disobeyed me. And you broke my rules. Sometimes you've got to break the rules, brother. Congratulations, Owen. You did great for a kid that trains in a dump. <laughs> and Brian, you did pretty good too. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, thanks, Mr. Mansley. Brian is so gifted and strong, Mr. Mansley. He wins every competition he enters. I know that, brother. I've been watching him for a while, too. I want to sponsor your son. I want him to train at my gym. Wow. Did you hear that, Brian? Mark Mansley wants you to train at his gym. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about Brian. I'm talking about Owen. Wait, what? Me? You want to sponsor me? Of course I do. You got the raw talent, brother. Reminds me of a great man. I see great things for you in your future. Yeah, I'll train there, but only if my brother can too. Sure, why not? Then I accept your offer. Great choice. You're not stupid enough to turn down that offer. And I like it. <laughs> Come on by my gym next Friday, brother. We'll get you signed up. Oh my gosh, dude. This is crazy. I know best day of my life. Can you believe it, Dad? Dad? I beat Owen so easily. I mean, look at this trophy. Ooh, shiny. Ho oh, ho, look who it is. The loser of the competition. Yeah, you won this time, Rylan. The next time's gonna be different. I'm only gonna get stronger, you know? How are you gonna get stronger if you don't have anywhere to train? Yeah, I do have somewhere to train now. Oh, really? Yeah, Owen's gonna be training with Mark Mansley now. Shut up, nerd. That's impossible. Well, it isn't because Mark Mansley thinks I have raw talent, just like him, and he's gonna help me train. No, 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 there's no way. Mark Mansley has a private gym and no one's allowed to work out there. But I am. 
because I'm now a member of his private gym. No, you're lying! I'm not, Rylan. And I'm gonna beat you at the next strongman competition. So it's about time you accept it. Ugh, what the heck? No! All right, brothers, that's enough. Great workout today. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mr. Mansley. I'm hosting another strongman competition, and I want the both of you to compete. Oh, yeah, definitely. Think I should enter your competition? Of course I do. That's why I want you in it. Oh, little Marky Marks, I'm right over here. What can I do for you? Quimby, I need you to sign the boys up for the strongman competition. Yeah, I don't, but I'll try, okay? I'll do it now, but, like, we need to, like, go. You're wanted on set for your next movie, Mansley in Space. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gotta go fight some aliens and save the galaxy. You two better get out of here and get some rest. I'm proud of you both. Thanks, Mark. That means a lot. Dude, this is so sick. We're literally training with our hero. I know. I still can't believe this is happening. Chances are Ryland's probably going to sign up for the competition too. Good, because I know I'm going to beat him this time. <laughs> I know you will. I'm so proud of you, bro. Ryan! Oh! oh my gosh, what, what happened? Oh good, you're awake now. Am I in the hospital? Of course you are, look around! You think this is a bouncy house playground? What are you, stupid? What? No. Good. Now, let me tell him you're awake. Tell who? Dad, I'm happy you're here. What happened? Someone lost control of their car and crashed into you and your brother. Wow, no wonder I feel terrible. Owen, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, can it wait? Come on, I gotta talk to Brian. Where is he? Owen, Brian is gone. W what? Your brother didn't make it, and it's your fault. What, what what are you talking about? He didn't make it. It's, it's not my fault. You were the one that made him go to that gym with you. So you could selfishly steal his spotlight. No, no, d Dad. Th that's not true. Th he can't be gone. Yes, it is. Your brother is gone, and I can't handle it. No, 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 my gosh. B Brian, no. Brian, I, I can't believe you're gone. I just feel so terrible. I just... You're the only one that believed in me, and I'm gonna miss you so much. It's just me and Dad now, and he's never gonna be the same after this, and I don't think I will either. I'm so, so sorry. Hey, Owen, are you ready to go? I don't know, Greg. I, I think so. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better after the accident. I'm not feeling better, Greg. It's over now. What's over? Chasing this stupid dream, okay? I'm done, Greg. I'm never lifting weights again. Dude, Brian wouldn't want you to quit. Yeah, well, guess what? Brian's not here now, and it's because of my dream. Dude, no. No, don't think that. I was trying to be a strong man in the world. I was trying to just make myself proud, and I brought Brian with me. And now he's gone. My dumb dream is over, and I... It's, it's over. I'm just gonna focus on school and be boring, weak, and pathetic Owen. Because that's who I am after all. That's who I'll always be. Oh my gosh, what was that? Are you insane? Are you insane, brother? Dad, what's going on? Shut up, Owen. Mr. Mansley, Owen is not going to do your stupid competition. That's where you're wrong, brother. I know he's gonna compete. Owen is weak and pathetic. I mean, look at him. Let me tell you something. You need to stop being a big dumb baby and let Owen do what he wants to do. I am gonna call the police and report this. You crash into my house, you maniac. Owen, you haven't been to the gym in weeks. You can't just give up on this, brother. God, I don't wanna do it anymore, okay? My brother's gone because of me. He might be gone, but I know what you promised Brian to not give up. You'd be a loser if you let him down. Is that what you really want, brother? No, but I just, I can't do it. Think about it, Owen. Think about what's really important. Are you gonna let what people say about you limit your greatness? I didn't, and look what happened to me. I was the champion. I was the strongest man in the world. And your brother didn't let anyone limit his greatness either. Just think about it. I think it would be a mistake to give up. But what do I know? I'm just the strongest man in the world. 
I demand to take Owen's place in the competition. And I should get his sponsorship too. Yeah, well, stop yelling at me, broski. I do what I want. <sighs> you did not just slap Quimby. Owen gave up. And I want to compete. I haven't given up. Well, guess what? You should give up. You're pathetic. You're the pathetic one who's picking on other people. Is there a problem over here? Oh, Marky Marks. This stupid idiot came in. He started yelling at me. And he telling me what to do. And then he just slapped me. The only person that can do that to Quimby is me. Yeah. Marky Marks is the only one who can yell at little old Quimby. Rylan, you're banned from this gym for life. Get out of my face before I suplex you out of this gym. Yeah, well, whatever. This place sucks. I'm going to beat you at that competition, Owen. Just you wait. What are you doing here, Owen? Are you coming back? I want to win, not just for myself, but for my brother. And that's the attitude of a winner. Now let's get to training. Quimby, give us some protein shakes. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, Owen. I know you got more reps in you. Yeah. I can do this. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah. Hey, wait, what are you? Ah! <laughs> Look at the little pimp squeak go. I'll admit it. I feel so much stronger than I was before. Of course you are, brother. You train with the best, and I'm glad you didn't give up. You think I'm ready for the competition? Ho, ho, ho. You're more than ready, brother. I think you're going to win. Yeah, I think so, too. Okay, Dad, uh, dinner's ready. How are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? My son is gone. All right, you know what? No, that's enough. You shouldn't just keep watching these, Dad. It's just gonna make it worse, okay? Here, eat something. Ah! Dad, what the heck? I want you to leave. I can't even be in the same room as you. Why? It's been almost a year since Brian was gone, but guess what, Dad? You have another son, and it's me. You're right, I do have a son. That makes me more mad than anything because he never respects my wishes. What wishes? Just give up on my dreams? Yes, I want you to quit that competition. No, I'm going to win this for Brian because that's what he wanted. You're not going to win. There's no way you can do it. You're not your brother. Yes, I can. This is so childish. You always wanted to be like him growing up. But guess what? You're not Brian. I know I'm not him. Then listen to me and quit the competition. Hey, Brian. Man, you should have seen Dad last night. He still hasn't gotten over that you're gone, and he just hates me for it. But you know, Dad did say something that stuck with me a lot. He always told me I wanted to be like you growing up, and now that I think about it, I really did. I didn't really want to be the strongest man on Earth. I don't think that was my real dream. My real dream was just wanting to be as cool as you and to make you proud. And I'm gonna win this competition for you, no matter what, because that's what you would do. Later, bro. I love you. Wish me luck. Welcome everybody to Mark Mansley's Strongman Competition. As the strongest man in the world, I'm here to find out who among these challengers has what it takes to claim my title. Let's hear it for our final competitors, Rylan and Owen. You may have the big muscles now, and you may think you're strong, but no matter what, you'll always be a weak loser. Shut up, Rylan. You'll see how strong I really am today. All right, let's get started. First up, Rylan. Duh, because the best go first, always. I love you, Rylan. Whoa, that was amazing. Excellent, excellent. 500 pounds. Well done, Rylan. All right, Owen, you're up next. Everyone take a look. Someone film this. This idiot's going to look so dumb. <laughs> Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, uh, wow, that was even better! I love you more than Rylan Owen! Well, now we've got a tie. And brothers, you know Mark Mansley came up with the ultimate tiebreaker. I need you gentlemen to lift that bus if you have what it takes to be the strongest man in the world. What? A bus? It's like over a thousand pounds or something. Are you scared? You don't say that. You are, idiot. Okay, Rylan, you can do this. You're handsome, incredible, and everyone loves you. All right. Uh, ah! Ow, no! 
Looks like someone bit off more than they could chew. You don't think I'm strong, huh? Watch this. Okay, this is for you, Brian. Ah! Oh my gosh. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new winner. Owen is the strongest man on earth. I did it. I actually did it. We are back at the world's strongest man competition. And up next is Jason. Okay, here we go. I'm ready to defend my title. Yes, yes, yes. Incredible, Jason has defended his title yet again. He is the strongest man of all time. I did it, I did it, I, oh. Get all the way, you weak idiot. Uh, back off, Tommy. What are you even doing? Daydreaming? No, just shut up. I heard you say you were gonna be the strongest of all time. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. Oh yeah, well, I'll show you, Tommy. I will be the strongest of all time. Just you wait. Oh man, I know I can be the strongest of all time. And I wanna make the college weightlifting team. I know I can do this. Here we go. Uh, 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 help, 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 help. Hey, hey. Oh, thanks, coach. Jason, what are you doing here? I told you never to work out without a spotter. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just training. And how many times have I got to tell you you're not making the weightlifting team? Well, why not? You know when you're strong enough. I will be strong enough. I just have to work hard and I'll get there eventually. It's gonna take you 30 years before you're able to bench this much weight. You're not qualified, Jason. I'm the coach. I know these things. Yeah, well, I don't care. If I put in the work, I know I can be the strongest ever. Yeah, well, you're not gonna be on my weightlifting team, that's for sure. Or in my weight room. I think it's time you go home. Past curfew, yet again. What are you doing home so late, Jason? Oh, Dad, it's okay. Just at the gym, trying to lift again. I was worried sick about you. What could you be possibly doing at the gym? I was lifting weights. What else would I be doing? Lifting weights? Why? Well, I'm trying to get on the weightlifting team. I'm going to be the strongest person of all time one day. Oh, great. This again. Jason, we've talked about this. You're never going to be the strongest person of all time. You need to let that silly dream of yours go. You need to focus on going to school and getting your accounting job. Dad, I hate accounting. I never want to go into that field, and I'm never going to give up. I'm going to prove you wrong. Hey, we're not done talking about this. Get back here. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, that's one curl. That's one curl. Dude, what do you think you're doing here? What does it look like, Tommy? I'm working Can out. you call that working out? Pathetic. This is how it's done. Give me that. Hey, no. Are you serious? You can't even lift this? This is so easy. Stop putting me down, Tommy. Give me the weight back. Oh, you want the weight back? Why don't you take it from me then? Oh, uh, Tommy. Oh. oh my gosh, you can't even push me or that weight. Dude, just give up. Push it off, Jason. You can do this. Okay, I want to make a new record this time. I know it. Just one more rep. I can do this. Uh, oh, 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 my leg. Oh, hey, man, are you all right? Uh, Whoa, let me take a look at that. Oh, I think it's my ankle. Yeah, it looks like it's just a really bad sprain. Nothing broken. Oh, really? That's good. I say you could start running in a couple weeks now. What? No, I have to keep training now. Training? What are you training for anyways? Well, one day I'm going to be the strongest person ever. I need to keep working out or I'll never hit that goal. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, man, I really do like your passion. I'm a trainer. Uh, my name's Dylan. What's yours? Oh, I'm Jason. It's nice to meet you. You know, if you want to be the strongest person ever, I can help you out. You can? Really? You think I can do this? Well, with your attitude, of course you can. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Oh, man, this sucks. Jason, what happened to you? Did you hurt yourself again? No, not really. Well, kind of, yeah, but I'm fine. Lifting weights again, huh? When are you going to stop this? I'll stop until I'm the strongest of all time. I told you you should focus on being an accountant. Oh, what, the most boring job on the planet? <laughs> yeah, no thanks. This is the family business. Yeah, and it sucks. I want to lift weights. I want to do something fun and exciting. I want to go out for the weightlifting team. Weightlifting team? It's not going to happen, Jason, especially not with you on crutches. It will happen, Dad. One way or another i'm gonna make it happen you're not gonna make the team and you're never going to be the world's strongest man get that through your head i don't care what my dad says i'm gonna make that weightlifting team just one more rep i can do this yeah yes i'm lifting more okay i want to make a new record this time i know it 
I'm gonna beat my time, I know it! You know, Jason, you've come a really long way. We've made a lot of progress since we started working together. Oh yeah, I definitely feel stronger. You know what? I think I'm ready to prove to Coach Nelson that I can work out in his gym. Coach Nelson's gym? He doesn't want you there and he doesn't think you're gonna join the team. And the man sounds super stubborn. As stubborn as he might, I know I'm capable of it. I feel way stronger than I did before. And I know I'm ready to try out. Well, go and get some rest. You're definitely gonna need it. Thanks, Dylan, for all your help. You're like the best trainer ever. Now, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, Jason, how many times I gotta tell you, you don't belong in here. Actually, coach, I came to find you. I thought I told you, you're too weak to join this team. I'm not wasting my time on no scrawny loser. Yeah, look at this guy. He's never gonna join us, coach. Coach, I may have been weak before, but I'm ready to prove to you that I'm stronger now. Hey, look at this, coach. Just because this guy put on a little size, he thinks he's the toughest guy on the planet. Haha, <laughs> fat chance, bozo. <laughs> look. I'll give you one chance. Show me what you got, and if you suck, you're out of here. You got it? Oh, easy. I can totally do that. If you can curl 100 pounds, I'll actually let you work out here. No problem at all. Whoa, wait, what? See? Easy as cake. Wow, I guess you really have made some progress, huh? Yeah, baby progress, kid. Shut up, Tommy. Can't believe I'm gonna say this, but uh, you can work out here and be on the team. What, are you serious? That's great. No, it's not great. It's stupid. I don't want this loser working out here, coach. He's still weak. Fair is fair, Tommy. I made him a progress and I'm a man of my word. He lifted the weight. He can stay, he can train. <sighs> Whatever. Welcome to the gym, Jason. He actually was impressed and he's letting you work out there now? Dude, that's awesome! Yeah, I know, and I'm gonna enter the weightlifting competition this weekend. You think you're all ready for it? Dude, I mean, you literally just started working out there. Well, I think so. I've made so much progress. I need to test where I am. I don't know, Jason. What do you mean? You always have my back. Yeah, no, of course I do. And you have made some really great progress, but it's all just kind of risky. You can do it if you want, but just don't push yourself too hard and don't get hurt. I won't get hurt. It's all good. And even if I don't win, it will be a great experience regardless. That's the right attitude to have. I just didn't want you pushing yourself too hard. That's all. You tend to do that sometimes. Well, yeah, maybe I do. But regardless, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying harder and harder, and I will be the strongest person ever. That loser really thinks he's gonna join my weightlifting competition? No! He's not gonna ruin my competition. I'm gonna get first place, and I'm gonna make sure of it. Oh, why am I nervous? I think I'm gonna do really well. Yeah, keep lying to yourself, Jason. You're gonna look like an absolute joke out there. I'm not, Tommy. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, I'm gonna try my best. There's no way you're gonna win this, dude. Just give up. It's not about winning, it's about trying. Sounds exactly what a loser would say. Oh, you'll see, Tommy. Just you wait. All right, here we go. Look out, idiot. Ah! Oh, oh, my leg. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. What's going on over here? Ref, this guy, he tried to sabotage me. Oh, what? No, I didn't. I'm the one that needs help. Yep, looks like you messed up your leg real bad. You're out of the competition. I'm calling you 911. What? No. I really hope you're proud of yourself, Jason, because I'm not. Dad, I really don't want to hear this right now. Well, you don't really have a choice, now do you, young man? Dad, I want to do this. I want to lift weights. I want to be the strongest. You're in college. You need to stop all of this nonsense and focus on your career, your future. Focus on being an accountant like Why me. Why do I have to be an accountant like you? Why can't I follow my own dream? Because dreams are dumb. It's all fantasy and make-believe, and this is the real world. You can't just do whatever you want, Jason. You've got to get a job, pay bills, pay taxes. You can't do all that and follow my own dream. You just have to have the right attitude. Well, look at where your attitude got you, Jason. In the hospital, on crutches again. Yeah, well, I don't care what you think. I don't care what anyone thinks. I am your father. You will not talk to me like that. You're right. You are my dad, and you should be supporting me. I will be the strongest of all time. And if you're not going to support me, I don't need your permission to do anything. Hey, Dylan. Jason, man, I'm glad you're feeling better. We have months of hard work ahead of us. Are you ready? Oh, I'm definitely ready. <gasps> okay. Oh, man, I'm going to beat my new time. 52, 53, 54. Yes. One, two, three. Man, running's getting a whole lot easier. I'm just about to finish up. Man, I think that's the best time you've ever had. Well, that means I'm improving. Yes, I knew I'd get stronger. And I think it's time you try out for that weightlifting team again. You're definitely gonna make it this time.
Today's the day. Weightlifting team trials, and I'm gonna make it. Ah, Jason, there you are. You know, I heard all about your hard work. I'm very, very impressed. Oh, really? That's great. I hope I can make the team this time. Yeah, take it easy, Tiger, all right? We'll see about that. Let's see how much weight you can lift. Come on, let's do it. You got it. Wow, even I'm impressed. I told you I could get stronger, coach. I don't say this often. I actually don't say it at all. I apologize, I didn't believe in you. You know, that's all right, coach. I believed in myself and that's all that mattered. <laughs> well, if you can lift weight like this, you can definitely be on our team. Wait, what did you just say, coach? This idiot's on our team? You heard me right. <sighs> no way, this is so dumb. Jason's a weak idiot, look at him. He's gonna ruin our chances of winning the competition. You taught me how to run my own weightlifted team, Tommy? No, coach. That's right, you better shut up. He's made a whole lot of progress and worked really hard. He earned this spot on the team. I just want to prove that I can be the strongest. And I know I can help our college win the weightlifting title. You're not going to do anything. I'm going to help the team win the title, not you. So stay out of my way. Oh man, I'm so stoked. I can't wait to tell my dad. Hey dad, I got great news. You got an actual job? What? No, I made the team. Team? What team are you talking about? The weightlifting team, dad. I got in. Great news, Jason. I'm so happy for you. I can't believe you're not taking college seriously. I'm absolutely taking college seriously. Now that I'm in the weightlifting team, I could get a scholarship and make a real career out of it. You're an idiot if you think what you're doing is good. What am I supposed to tell my friends? What am I supposed to tell your aunts and uncles? My son lifts weights? Wow, so impressive. Who cares what other people think? Who cares what your friends think? You should care. You think anyone's gonna take you seriously after this? Lifting things up and putting them down. So impressive. You know what, Dad? I don't care what anyone thinks, and I'm done with this place. I'm an adult. I don't have to live here anymore. What do you mean? I'm leaving, and I'm never coming back. Oh, stop being dramatic, Jason. Jason, wait, come back. Stop. I don't care what anyone says. I know I can do it. I know I can be the strongest ever. I just have to believe in myself. I won't let anything or anyone get in my way. I'll just have to figure something out on my own. Dad will come around, maybe. I know mom would have supported me. Oh, mom, I really wish you were still here. You would have been so happy to see me and what I've been accomplishing. No, oh, it's just you. Tommy, what do you want? Well, I was just walking by outside. I thought I heard a baby crying in the gym. Well, just shut up, Tommy. The whole team has to hear about how you're in the gym crying like a baby. Boo-hoo. You want a blankie, baby? When? Jason, what is your problem, man? We're on the same team. We should be working together. We might be on the same team now, but we're not going to be forever. I'm going to make sure of it. This is my team. Everyone looks up to me, not you. You think you can just come in here and take away all the fame? I don't think so. Tommy, get real. This is a college weightlifting team. You're not a movie star. Just know this, loser. I'm the best one on the team. Number one. And you are last place. And you always will be. No one's ever going to accept you on this team. I don't need your acceptance. I don't need anything from you. Or anyone. You know, Jason, I'm actually really, really happy for you. You made the team just like you wanted, but now this is when the real work begins. You've got to level up if you want to be the strongest person on the team. Even more so if you're going to be the strongest person of all time. Well, I definitely want to be the strongest person of all time. Let's go, Dylan. I'm ready. Ah, there you go. Whoa, I'm actually impressed. You've put in so much work over these past few months. I'm really proud of you, man. Thanks, Jason. It's been a lot of hard work, but I think it's really starting to pay off. That's great, dude. How's everything else going, you know? How's uh, things going with your dad? Oh, my dad? Oh, I really don't know. I've been living out of my car, mostly. What? You've been living out of your car? For months? Dude, why haven't you told me? Well, I just didn't want anyone to know, that's all. Well, you can crash here at the gym if you want. That way, at least you have a roof over your head. But honestly... You should go talk to your dad, Jason. He's your father. Listen, I will, but at the moment, I don't think I really need any more distractions. I just need to focus on training. Thanks for the session, Dylan. I'll see you next time. Hey, Dean Thompson, you want to see me? Yes, Jason, we have something very serious to discuss. Tommy, what are you doing you here? You know what this is about, Jason. Don't act stupid. 
I have no idea. I just got here. Jason, Tommy says that you are cheating on your tests and you made him give you the answers. Is this true? What? No, that's not true at all. You do realize that sharing answers on the test could lead to you being expelled. Of course I do. That's why I would never do that. Yes, you did. You forced me to give you the answers because you're dumb and I'm smart. No, that's not true at all. See, look at my test. I have a higher grade and different answers from Tommy. Well, it seems that you're correct. I'm very sorry, Jason. Tommy, what do you have to say about this? Uh, he's lying. He's a professional liar and he sucks. Tommy, I think you are the one who is lying. And for that, I'm going to have to suspend you. No, no, you can't do that. I'm the dean and I can do what I want. I'm suspending you for one week. Actually, make it two weeks for wasting my time. You're going to regret this, Jason. Just wait. 72. 73. 74. Huh. Hey! What was that for, Tommy? You got me suspended, idiot. And I told you you'd regret it. It's all your fault. Tommy, you got yourself suspended from trying to get me expelled. I just defended myself. That's not the point. You know I can't even work out here until my suspension is up? You have any idea how much that sucks? I have to go pay for another gym membership and work out with dumb, poor people? No. Ugh. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before. Tommy, you need to start Start acting like a teammate, man. You are not my teammate. You and I are not even on the same level. We're not even in the same universe. You're just someone who got lucky and made the team. You're pathetic, and you always will be. And I'm always going to be there to remind you of how pathetic you are. You know, I think Dylan's right. I think I need to talk to my dad. Hey, Dad? Jason, what are you doing here? Oh, I came to see how you were. And uh, I was wondering if you'd like to come to the competition. You want me to go to your competition? Yeah, I, I think I can actually win this. And I want you there to see me succeed. No. What? But Dad, I just want you there too. No, you are nothing but a disappointment. All I asked for you was to keep your head on straight and become an accountant, but you refuse. I'm never gonna watch you lift and I'm not gonna support this dumb dream of yours. This dream is important to me. I just want you to be there for me. Why can't you do that? Because I don't care about any of this stupid stuff. You need to focus on what's important. You could have gotten a great job at my accounting firm, followed the family business, but you want nothing to do with your family. I love my family. I just don't want to be an accountant. This isn't just some dream. It's my dream and I'm going to follow it. Competition's on Friday if you want to support your son. If not, whatever. All right, this is it, the big competition. Let's show them what I got. Ha! Ladies and gentlemen, Jason from Fitchburg State has won the competition. His school has officially won the title. Oh my gosh, I did it! Yes! Hey, Jason, congratulations, man. Oh my gosh, you're Hank the Tank! You won the strongman competition last year. <laughs> That's right, I did. You know, I think you got what it takes to be a strongman, too. You might even be the strongest person in the world if you keep working hard. Oh, coming from you? That's incredible. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. You got a whole lot of potential in it. I got some cool action movies coming up. A lot of roles for some strong people in it, too. Might have to keep you in mind for the movie. <laughs> Whoa, are you serious? I can't believe that. Well, we'll stay in touch, Jason. What was he talking to you about? He shouldn't be wasting his time with a loser like you. Tommy, mind your own business. No, I can't believe you're the one that won the whole thing. You stole the spotlight from me and you're not strong man potential. You're weak. Well, I'm not the one who couldn't lift the weights, Tommy. That was you. Maybe you focused on yourself instead of me, you'd actually become stronger. T whatever, okay? I was just sore from training, that's all. No one cares about your excuses. Shut up! I'm not gonna let you show me up like this. Trust me on that. Just try working harder, Tommy, and leave me alone. Yeah, Jason! Yeah, dude, you're awesome! Oh, what? What is this for? What, you don't know? Are you serious? I don't really have an idea, no. You broke the school record for weightlifting the other day at the competition. Oh, did I really? First time the record's been broken in 15 years. 15 years, Jason! Whoa, that's incredible! Look at me, breaking a record! That's not even the half of it. We're all going to nationals because of you. Oh, thanks, guys. You know, it wasn't just me. We all did it as a team, together. You're so cool, so popular now, Jason. I'm not gonna let this happen. Hey, Hank the Tank! Uh, Jason, there you are. You don't need to call me Hank the Tank, though. You can just call me Mr. Tank. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, hello, Mr. Tank. Thanks for inviting me to work out in your gym. Yeah, of course, no problem. I was super impressed with your abilities. 
you lift some serious weight. I believe with a little more training, you might be able to beat me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, we'll just have to see. No, I'm serious. I believe in you, kid. So much so, I got someone you need to meet. Jason, this is my agent. Wow, Jason, really nice to meet you. Great story. Mr. Chank has told me a lot about you. Oh, really? Uh, thanks. You know, your story is absolutely incredible. Let me sign you. Let me take you to all the interviews, get you movie roles, get you endorsement deals. Whatever you want, I'm here for you to work for you. That's right, I am an agent and I do my job well. Oh, man, you can make me a celebrity? I can try my best, but the rest of it's going to be on you. Oh, man, this is exciting but I don't know how I feel about this. All this is happening really fast. Yo, Jason, this could be really, really good for you. This could change your life forever. Oh, look at me now. I own this gym. I got movie deals. You could live this life too if you wanted it. And tell me how much you want it. Well, all I want is to be the strongest of all time. And if this can help me, then yeah, let's do it. Dad, I'm going to be on TV. They're going to interview me. Interview you? For what? Well, I broke the school weightlifting record. Everyone wants to know more about my journey to it. People really care about such <laughs> stupid things. Uh, what is wrong with you, Dad? What did weightlifting ever get anybody, huh? Dad, you know who Hank the Tank is? Everyone does. He's super successful because he's the strongest guy ever. For now. Why can't you just support I'd me? support you if you had a dream worth supporting. Not this stupid mess. There's no point in following a stupid dream when you're awake. You should finish your school and get a career started. It'll make you some serious money. You know what? Fine, Dad. You don't want to support me. I just won't come here anymore. I'm done with you. Good. Don't come back until you give up that stupid fantasy of yours. <sighs> Dad, he's acting like a huge jerk. He doesn't want to support me. I just have to support myself. I can support myself anyway. I want to be the strongest guy ever. Ah! Hey, what was that? Oh, Jason, you're so good at everything. I'm surprised you didn't see that coming. Tommy, what the heck was that for? Because you think you're so awesome because you broke some dumb record. Now everyone loves you and they're obsessed with we you. We all get along because we're good teammates. That's the point. We're all just happy because we're going to nationals. You should be happy too. I'd be happier if I was the one that broke the record, not you. You were nothing before this. You don't deserve any of this. You're still a pathetic loser, Jason. What's your problem with me, man? You haven't liked me since the day we met. Because I deserve all of this, not you. It should be going to me. Well, it's not, so leave me alone. Now let me get back to training. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Mansley here, and you're here at the manliest hour on TV, the Mark Mansley Show. And I'm here with a very, very special guest, Jason here. He's on his way to becoming the strongest man alive, despite never believing in himself when he was a scrawny, puny little guy. Uh, thanks, Mark. Yeah, well, look at you now. You've made some incredible progress. Tell me, how does it feel? Oh, Mark, it feels great. I always knew if you believe in yourself and you have a dream worth chasing, you can accomplish anything. Just like me, I had a dream of winning the world championship belt, and I won it 17 times! Now Mark Mansley wants to know one question. Who is in your corner? We all gotta have a support system through this thing, and who is yours, Jason? Well, I had a couple of people who believed in me. Like my trainer, Dylan. I could have never done anything without him. That is incredible. Now I want every one of you, every single one of you, to show support for Jason and his pursuit of his dream. He's gonna break the record. He's gonna be the strongest man alive. And Jason, I have a surprise for you. A surprise? What? Me, Mark Mansley. I am gonna pay for your college tuition. Wait a minute, are you serious? That's incredible. Thank you so much. Well, you deserve it. Now you can focus on your goal, just like I focused on winning the belt. Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me, Mark. No thanks needed. Now we gotta get to commercial break, but when we come back, Jason and I are gonna arm wrestle, and I'm gonna show him what Mark Mansley's really made of. <sighs> Gotta push myself even further next time. Hey, dude, how are you feeling right now? Uh, Dylan, stronger than ever. I'm definitely ready for the competition. Yeah, well, I hope so. All eyes are on you right now. Uh, but let them all watch. I'm gonna prove to them that I'm the strongest of all time, after all. I mean, you did beat Mark Mansley in that arm wrestling competition. He almost cried on TV. Yeah, but he's a great guy. Yeah, and so are you. I know you're ready to show the world that you're the strongest. I just know it. Your support means everything to me right now. Thank you for helping me from the very start. It means so much. Uh, oh, yeah, give me one second, Dylan. Hello? This is Nurse Jenkins down at uh, Clearwater Hospital. We need you to come down here immediately. It's uh, your dad. My dad? 
Doctor! Uh, yeah, how can I help you? Um, uh, my name's Jason. I'm looking for my dad. Oh, I hate to tell you, Jason. Your dad was in a terrible accident. What? Is he okay? He's lucky to be alive right now, to be honest. Dad, are you okay? Jason, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dad. I'm here. Jason, I'm... I'm really sorry. Sorry? What are you sorry for? I'm sorry I... I didn't support you throughout everything you've been doing. I'm always worried about taking risks, and, and I didn't want you to take any. I was afraid you'd, you'd get hurt. Where never taking a risk got me, huh? Got me in a stupid accident, fighting with my son. I'm really sorry. Oh, Dad, you don't have to apologize about anything. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I should have never fought with you. We're the only family we have. We need to stick together. I never should have treated you the way that I did. At the end of the day, I, I just want you to be happy. That's all. I am happy, Dad. I am. I'm happy that you're okay. I'm happy the way my life is going right now. Soon I'll prove to everyone, I am the strongest man ever. Jason, are you sure about this? Training at the railway? You could be risking the competition if you hurt yourself. It's all good, Dylan. This is the last thing I need to do to prove to everyone that I'm the strongest man alive. I'm going to bench press a train. Bench press a train. You know this has never been done before, right? Yeah, until today. Please be careful. Oh, trust me, I got this. <laughs> My gosh, Jason! Jason, I told you you shouldn't have done this! Oh, I just thought I could lift it. Oh, I was so close. Uh, the bench gave out for some reason. Look, dude, we don't have time for this, all right? We should probably get you to the hospital. I'm gonna call 911. Oh, no. Poor baby Jason. Uh, uh, it hurts a lot. Yeah, this is not good at all. You have some seriously torn muscles, Jason. Oh, what? How long will it take to recover? Torn muscles like this? Probably gonna take a couple months. Maybe some rehab is- What? No, I have the national competition tomorrow. I don't have months to recover. I have to prove to everybody I'm the strongest man in the world. Well, if you go and compete, you'll prove to everyone that you're the dumbest man in the world. You should not be doing this. I don't care what you think. I'm gonna compete and I'm gonna win tomorrow. You don't care what a professional doctor thinks. Are you crazy? Thanks for all your help, doc. Are you serious? You could be jeopardizing ever recovering. Don't do something stupid! Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the last stretch of the National Strongman Competition. And up next, we have Jason. Let's see, Jason's gonna try to lift this bus. All right, Jason, everything you've been through, this is what you trained for. It's all up to this. Oh, fuck, it hurts! Fuck, it, do it! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, Jason is the strongest man of all time. Hurry, the baby's coming! Hold on, we're almost there! Uh, uh. Well, congratulations, Mr. Murdoch. It's a baby boy, but he's incredibly sick. What's wrong? I don't feel good either, but I want you to name the baby. Hmm, I think we'll name him Garrett. Sir, we don't have time for this. Both your wife and baby are sick. Ah, uh, you take care of him. I'll be back later. I need to get a workout in. Thanks for taking me out for my birthday, Mom. Of course, honey. Your dad and your brother are gonna meet us at the restaurant. Oh no! Ah! Uh, Mom? Garrett? Mom? Garrett? Garrett, help me! I'm stuck! Oh no, hold on! Uh, I can do this. Uh, uh, oh, I, I can't do it! What the heck are you doing? Out of the way, Garrett! Uh! I, I just lost control of the car. Are you okay? Uh, I think my arm is broken. Garrett, are you going to hurt your mother your entire life? No. Uh, I'm so sorry, Dad. I, I just wasn't strong enough. Of course you weren't. I need to get your mother to my trainer right away. Well, it's not a break, but it'll take some time to heal. Well, I guess there's no training for me for a while. We appreciate you taking a look at her on such short notice, Keith. Not a problem. Diane just needs to take it easy for a while. Garrett? Your reckless actions could have gotten your mother killed! He did everything he could, Gene. It's not his fault. I tried, Dad. I tried my best. I just wasn't strong enough to lift the car. And you never will be, Garrett! You were born sick and weak, and that's how you'll always be! That's not true. You don't know what I'm capable of. Yeah, well, I do know what you're not capable of. Lifting cars. Come on, sweetie, let's go! Hi there. Is this Murdoch's gym? Uh, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Dad's gym. I mean, the gym. I mean, um, Murdoch's gym. <laughs> Dad's gym, huh? Must be a family business. Yeah, my dad's the owner. I'm Garrett. How can I help you? 
Well, Garrett, I just joined the gym online, and I was wondering if you'd give me a little tour. Yeah, of course. I'd be happy to show you around. Yo, sup? Name's Cole. Ugh, go away, Cole. Um, hi? You're gonna ditch my loser brother when you see this. <laughs> Hard pass on that one. What? You like my weak and pathetic brother? <laughs> Your loss. Come on, just leave us alone, dude. So, Jessica, what made you sign up? Well, I'm looking to stay healthy and fit. Also, I love a good challenge. Oh, I'm sure we have plenty here for you then. What do you think? I loved it. It's pretty cool here. Hey, do you want to grab dinner sometime? Uh, me? Uh, yeah. yeah, that sounds great. I'd love to. Oh, that's great news, honey. Yeah, yeah Mom. It's going to be an easy competition. Of course it is. Us Murdochs win every strongman competition. <laughs> Cole, you signed up for the strongman competition? That's awesome. I want to sign up too. You? In a strongman competition? Yeah, that's rich. <laughs> yeah, Garrett. I don't want you messing everything up. Come on, guys. Why not? Because we can't have you tarnishing the family name and brand. You're just not cut out for it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Stick to your video games, little bro. Ha 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 ha. Good one. Ugh, I hate how they never take me seriously. Sweetie, don't let them get to you. It's just so frustrating, Mom. They always treat me like a joke. You might not be as physically strong as they are, but you have strengths that go beyond lifting weights. I guess I never really thought of it that way. Just remember, you're loved no matter what. Hey, Bozo! How does it feel to be a big, gross loser? Uh, just go away, okay? Leave me alone! Sorry, what did you say? I don't speak loser! Hey, that's enough! You said leave him alone! What's this? One of your dumb nerd friends? What are you gonna do about it, weakling? Oh! Ha ha ha! I'm going to tell my mom! You're dead, loser! Ha ha ha! Oh, uh, thanks. No one's ever stood up for me like this. Well, I know what it's like to get bullied. I hate seeing people treated that way. Yeah, it really sucks. I get picked on for what I wear, for my weight, but I'm too scared to go to the gym. You don't have to be ashamed of who you are. And you know what? If you want, I can help you with that fear. Really? How? Well, my dad owns a gym, and I can take you there. We'll work out together, and I promise, it won't be as intimidating as you think. Wait, for real? You do that for me? Yeah, absolutely. No one should feel alone or afraid. You know what? Thanks. Uh, I'm Jack, by the way. Well, anytime, Jack. I'm Garrett. You know, Garrett, I'm really starting to like you. Whoa, really? I feel the same way about you, Jessica. So, why aren't you going to do your brother's competition? It seems like a big deal. I want to, really. But my dad and Cole, they don't think I should be there. I would ruin the family name or whatever. Wait, seriously? You're letting them dictate how you feel about something so important? It's not that simple. I just wish I could go and show them that I support them. Garrett, you should be proud of who you are, not trying to fit their expectations. You deserve to be happy and make your own choices. I know, it's just hard. My family's not easy. I mean, you've met them. Yeah, I know. But you're stronger than you think, and you have the right to do what makes you happy. You know what? You're right. I'm gonna go and watch my brother's competition. And they'll see I'm there to support them the whole way, no matter what. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yes, he's done it! The winner of this year's strongman competition is Cole Murdoch! Yeah, Cole, you did it! Awesome! Ugh, Garrett? Isn't it awesome, Dad? Cole won! Oh, I'm well aware of that! Thanks! Gene, honey, let's not ruin the moment. Oh, I won't ruin the moment, don't worry. But let's not pretend that Garrett doesn't belong here. I'm just showing my support for Cole, Dad. You can't support a paperclip. You're not strong enough for any of this. Hey, that's enough. Garrett is stronger than you realize. He's a disappointment and an embarrassment. He's nothing like his brother. Just go home, Garrett. You don't belong here. I do belong here. It's part of this family. One day, you're going to see that, Dad, whether you like it or not. Come on, Jack. You've got this. You just got to push through the burn. That's all. I can do this. I can do this. See? Jack, you did it. Great work, dude. Thanks, Garrett. You really make this seem less scary. Oh, hey, you with the dumb face. You're not allowed in here. 
Um, yeah, he is. I let him in here. And he's here because he wants to better himself, Cole. Not like you'd understand that. I don't need to better myself. I'm already perfect. Oh, go home, loser. The gym is for serious lifters. I said, leave him alone. What are you gonna do about it, huh? This, huh? 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 You're such You're a, just a jerk. loser, huh? Yo, check it out. The Murdochs are fighting. Ha ha ha. This is so sick. Cole, Garrett, explain to me how a video of my sons fighting like animals in my gym is going viral right now. Huh, I don't know, because I look great. Cole, shut up. Dad, it's not what it looks like. Calm down. Garrett brought that fat kid into the gym, and he's the one who started this mess. That's not true. I invited Jack to the gym to help him build confidence and strength. Cole's the one that started it. I don't care who started it. This is a disaster for my brand. You two are a disgrace. Well, I'm not going to stand by and let anyone be treated unfairly and be picked on. The gym is a place where everybody can work out. Not in my gym. My gym is a place for champions, for winners. It's Murdochs, not loser docs. <laughs> Good one, Dad. I said shut up, Cole. I'm still mad at you. Garrett, you're officially banned from my gym. You've crossed the line. What about Cole? He's the one that started the fight. You, Cole! You need to go train for your competitions. You're staying at the gym. Ha <laughs> sweet. Ugh, this is so stupid. Oh, man. This is harder than I thought. Yeah, but you've got this, Jack. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. What do we have here? The dynamic duo of weaklings? Ugh, what do you want, Cole? Oh, just enjoying this stupid show. <laughs> you think you can actually accomplish something without a real gym? Uh, maybe we should stop, Garrett. Oh, yeah, you should. Give it a rest. You'll never get anywhere without proper equipment. Or a trainer who's actually strong. You know who's never won a strongman competition? It's embarrassing. Leave us alone, dude. Plus, it's your fault we have to train here in the first place. <laughs> all right, all right, Wimpy. I'll leave you two losers to your little pork training. Oh, dude, got something on your shirt. <laughs> uh, ah, what the heck? Cole, you're a jerk. <sighs> Man, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Maybe Cole's right. Maybe we can't do this without a real gym. I think people are staring at us. Uh, don't let it get to you. And don't let Cole get to you either, Jack. But he's right. You've never won a single competition. Do you even know what you're doing? Of course I do. We're stronger than he thinks. We don't need a big fancy gym to prove ourselves. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I can do this, man. You totally can. Come on, let's just finish our set. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going home. I'm done with this. No, Jack, don't go. Oh, come on, dude. I can't believe what happened with Jack at the park. I feel so bad for him. Yeah, I know. And he looked so defeated. I feel like I totally failed him. You didn't fail him. Your mean brother just broke his spirit. I've got to find a way to make things right. You know what? I might have an idea. Whoa, this is awesome. Is all this yours? Not exactly. It's my dad's setup. He's really into fitness and has all this stuff. Garrett Murdoch, is that you? I can't believe it. Oh, hi. You must be Jessica's dad. It's nice to meet you. You know who I am? <laughs> of course he does. He's a big fan of your family's strongman legacy. <laughs> Absolutely. Your mom and dad are legendary. I followed your family's journey for years. Wow, thanks. That means a lot. Hey, listen. If you ever need a place to work out, feel free to use the gym set up here. Really? You let me use this? Absolutely. You're welcome here anytime. Oh, this will actually be perfect. I think this is exactly what Jack and I will need. Thank you so much. Uh, and hey, Garrett, are you entering the regional strongman competition? Regional strongman competition? Ugh, you sure you want to do this, kid? The regional strongman competition is no joke. It's tough. And you don't exactly look like the strongest contender. I'm sure. I've got what it takes. Just sign me up. My name's Garrett Murdoch. Ugh, oh. All right, then. Thank you for giving us some insight on your impressive training routine, Jane. Yeah, of course. I'm going to add this to my workout immediately. Maybe someday I'll be as strong as you. Huh, doubt it. But keep up the good work. Wait, isn't that your son over there? Is he signing up for this competition? Oh, uh, no, no, no. That's, uh, that's not my son. Just some kid who probably thinks he can handle it. Oh, all right, then. 
thanks for the segment. I gotta get this over to the editors. Hey, kiddo. Hey, Dad. Listen, Gary, can we talk privately for a minute? Uh, sure. What do you want to talk about? Did you really sign up for this competition? Of course I did. I am a Murdoch, after all. You're gonna completely embarrass me. Go back there and tell them you changed your mind. What? No way. I'm doing this to help my friend Jack. He needs someone to support him, and I want to show him that he's not alone. You've always been sick and weak. And if you don't win, it's gonna reflect poorly on me. Oh, I don't care about winning or losing. And I don't care how it looks for you either. Garrett, you're just gonna make a fool out of yourself. That's what you're gonna do. Oh yeah? Watch me. Nine, 10, one more, 11. Okay, I gotta do this. I can do this. I'm gonna push myself a little bit harder. All right, one more. Ah! And the winner of the regional strongman competition is Garrett Murdoch. Yeah, let's go. Garrett, I'm so proud of you. Your father would be too. Yeah, thanks mom. You know what? I didn't do it for him. I did it for myself. I think you're the strongest out of all of us. Yeah, well, I guess I finally believe it. And now other people will too. I can't wait to tell Jessica. Garrett, I'm so incredibly proud of you. You killed it. Well, I couldn't have done it without your support and encouragement. I mean, you were the one behind me all the way. Oh, wow, Garrett. Didn't know they had a baby strongman competition. Oh, you must be so thrilled you beat the other dumb babies. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty great experience, actually. Thanks, dude. Well, yeah, I started strong. I won that competition when I was like 14 or whatever. Well, I've got to start somewhere since you and dad keep trying to stop me. <laughs> oh, poor Garrett. Always the disappointment. You think dad's going to be proud of you for winning that kitty competition? Maybe not, but I'm not doing this for him. I'm doing this for myself. I don't need his approval. Hey, how about we settle this? Meet me at the national competition, if you dare. Oh, you're on. I'll see you there. Garrett, do you think you're ready for this? The national competition is a big deal. Well, I'm not entirely sure, Jess, if I'm being honest. But one thing I know is that I'm going to give it everything I've got. And I'll be there cheering you on every step of the way. Hey, Garrett, uh, what's up? What's that you got there? Check it out, Jack. It's the trophy I just won at the Regional Strongman Competition. I, no way! That's incredible! You won? I, I never thought I'd ever get to see a trophy in real life. Yeah, I did. But it's not about this trophy, dude. I was doing this to show you that anybody can be a winner, no matter their starting point. You did all this for me? Of course I did. I wanted to prove that you don't have to give up, no matter how tough things seem. You know what, Garrett? Maybe you're right. Maybe I've been letting my own doubts hold me back, but I'm ready to change that. That's the spirit. Let's prove everybody wrong, starting tomorrow. Nice work, Jack. Keep pushing, you're doing great. Ugh, thanks, dude. I'm actually starting to feel really good. Yeah, and you're looking a whole lot better too. You've come a long way in just a few weeks. So, uh, what are your thoughts on the Nationals? You're gonna win, right? I'm not gonna lie. Nationals are on a whole other level. My brother has been in this game for years, but seeing you put in effort like this gives me hope I can do it too. That's awesome. I'm really thankful for your guidance, Garrett. I've actually lost like 50 pounds since we started training. 50 pounds? Whoa, that's incredible. Hey guys, how's the workout going? Hey Jess, Jack is killing it today. Yeah, and it's all thanks to Garrett's coaching. He is a great trainer. Honestly, have you ever thought about doing this professionally? Me training? Actually, I haven't. Well, maybe you should consider it. You could open your own gym and train people to be the best versions of themselves. You know what, Jess? That's not a bad idea at all. I was born weak and sick, and my family treated me like that my whole life. And I think a gym that's not exclusive to just strongmen, but open for everyone, that could actually work. Yeah, I think this is actually the perfect place for it. Uh, it certainly needs a lot of work. But it's got so much potential. I want to make a gym that's open to everybody. <laughs> oh, come on, Garrett. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Only strong people belong in the gym. Uh, no, Cole. Actually, that's where you're wrong. Fitness and strength are for everyone, honey. Nah, I doubt it. This place is going to suck. Well, 
I love the idea, Garrett. Thanks, Mom. You know, I really think I can make a difference with this place. Ugh, are you both serious? This is ridiculous. Dad wouldn't want any of this for his brand. Well, this won't be Dad's brand, will it? It's gonna be my own. You're jeopardizing everything he's built? I can't believe Mom's supporting your stupid ideas. That's enough. Your brother has a right to pursue his dreams just like you do. And if you can't see the potential in this, maybe it's best that you're not a part of it at all. Oh, fine. Have it your way. I'm going to tell Dad about this. He's not going to be happy. Garrett, we need to talk. Oh, hey, Dad. Gonna wish me luck for nationals tomorrow? No, I don't want you to compete tomorrow. What? Why not? Because you're not ready. I don't want you embarrassing me out there. Is this what this is all about, Dad? You're delusional if you think you can win. Speaking of delusions, your brother told me of that gym idea you had. It's a joke. It's not a joke, Dad. I'm dead serious about it. A gym for everyone? You know what's better? A gym that's not for everyone. Not everybody is strong, Garrett. You out of all people should know that. I'm your son and you seriously never support me in anything. Well, I'm not gonna allow you to tarnish my name with this nonsense. You better not disappoint me, Garrett. I'm not gonna disappoint myself, Dad. I'm doing this for me and for those who believe in me. And I guess that excludes you. Huh, whatever. You'll learn one day. Yeah, and so will you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the final round of the National Strongman Competition. Our two finalists are Garrett and Cole Murdoch. The Murdoch brothers are now gonna attempt to lift this momentous weight. Oh, I've totally got this. Oh, don't get your hopes up, dweeb. Whatever. All right, Garrett, let's do this. Huh? Oh no. Uh, I, 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 can't, uh, I can't do it. <laughs> of course you can't, weenie. Out of the way. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> yeah. And there you have it, folks. Cole Murdoch is the winner of the National Strongman Competition. <sighs> Congratulations, Cole. You earned it. <laughs> I know. I told you. I'm so much better than you in every way. Boys, both of you did an incredible job out there. I'm so proud of both of my sons. Uh, Mom, what are you talking about? I won. Garrett lost. Don't be proud of him. Second place isn't losing, dude. Yes, it is. I'm going to call Dad and tell him I won and you lost, weenie. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at Garrett's gym, the latest fitness sensation in town. Garrett, your gym has gained quite the reputation in just a short time. Can you tell us what inspired you to open up this place? It actually comes from my friend Jack here. He struggled with his own fitness journey for a little while. And that motivated me to create a space where everyone feels welcome and empowered to take control over their health. I understand your father is the world's strongest man. Did his legacy have any influence on your decision to open this gym? I have a lot of respect for my dad and I love him just as much, but this gym isn't about his legacy. This is about helping others. It's true. Thanks to Garrett, I've lost 600 pounds and gained my confidence back. Jack is proof that we have potential in all of us. And it's not about where you start, it's about where you're headed. And I heard you're offering a free week of classes to celebrate the gym's opening. Yeah, we are actually. We're inviting everyone to come down and see what Garrett's gym has to offer. Oh, this isn't fair. Why is he stealing the spotlight? This should be my moment, not his. I'm gonna take it all for myself. Oh my gosh, the gym is packed today. This is so cool. I'm so happy this place is a huge success. So, what's next on your list? Well, actually, I have been thinking about something kind of big. I want to compete in another strongman competition. That sounds amazing. They're super tough, but you did great last time. I want to push my limits and prove to myself that I can achieve it and win. What about your dad? Do you know how important his legacy is to him? Honestly, Jess, I've spent so much of my life seeking my dad's approval, and I don't need any of that. I want to compete not to prove anything to him, but to challenge myself. Well, you've got my full support, Garrett. I've got your back. Hey, great job today. You're really pushing yourself hard. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett. I really appreciate the support. Hey, loser, watch where you're going. You just walked through my shot. 
Uh, sorry. I was just walking by. Well, walk somewhere else, idiot! Cole, what is going on here? Why are you yelling? Relax, little brother. We're just filming some content for my brand. And that idiot walked through my shot. You can't treat people like that here. Oh, uh, whatever, dude. I just have to get the perfect shot, okay? I have to film here. I have to grow my brand, Garrett. I don't care how hot this place is, dude. No one gets to treat people with disrespect in my gym. Come on, little brother. I'm basically a celebrity. You can't tell me what to do. This is my gym, so actually, yeah, I can. I'm gonna have to ask you to put that camera away and leave. No way, we need this content. If you can't respect the rules and the people that work out here, then you're not welcome. Both of you leave my gym immediately. Oh my gosh, you suck. You'll regret this, Garrett. Just go. Did you get it? Oh yeah, we got all of it. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Dad, you wanted to see me? Yes, I did! Take a look at this! What the heck? Oh, <laughs> see, Dad? He hates me. He won't even let me work at a stupid gym anymore. That's not the whole story. This is edited. Do you realize what you've done? Not only have you embarrassed this family, but you're tarnishing the reputation of my brand. We're the laughing stock of the fitness world now, thanks to you. Yeah, I trusted you, Garrett. I can't believe you'd do this to me. <laughs> I've been hurt by you and dad plenty of times. It's about time I stood up for myself and did what's right. You were being a jerk. You think you're doing what's right? You're sabotaging our legacy. The Murdoch name is tarnished. No, Dad, I'm not sabotaging anything. I'm finally realizing that my worth doesn't depend on you or your approval. Oh, I just wanted to work out and film at your gym. Look at what you did to your brother. You made him cry. Now he looks like a big dumb baby. If you can't support your brother or your family, then maybe you shouldn't be a part of it. You know what? Fine, I won't be. And I'll be stronger without you. And I'm going to prove that at the World's Strongest Man competition, where I'm going to win. I'm going to train harder than ever before. I'm going to win. All right. 14, 15, uh, 16. Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Oh, man. I've never felt so strong in my life. You're amazing, Garrett. You got this. Yeah, you're an inspiration to us all. Whoa, thanks, guys. You know, with all your support, I really think I'm going to win. Felix, stay close and keep a lookout. Cole, seriously, dude? Are you sure about this? Like, I don't know. Oh, uh, Felix, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Just trust me. Whoa, I forgot how sick this gym is. Oh, shut up, nerd. This whole gym thing, his competitions, it's a disgrace to our family and me. Yeah, I get like why you're mad and stuff, but call this like doesn't sit right with me. Oh, Felix, this is a perfect princess. Don't act like you're above this. Well, hurry up, dude. Just get it over with. All right, got it. Let's get out of here. Man, I feel so great today. I think it's time to get in a little workout before my clients get here. Okay, three, two, one. Huh? Oh! Oh! Uh, help! Somebody help! So, how bad is it? Well, it isn't great, Garrett. Your wrist injury is quite severe. Well, I could have told you that. Ow. Sadly, you won't be able to compete at the world's strongest man competition. What? No, no. You, uh, you don't understand, Doc. This competition means everything to me. I can't just give up on it. I'm a medical professional. Trust me when I say that competing with this injury would be stupid and could cause more damage to you. But I can just power through it. I I'm tough now. I'll be fine. Did you even hear me? Ugh, honestly, whatever. Do your stupid competition. Don't listen to the doctor. I'll see you back here in a few days. So what? That's it? Really? Ugh, some medical professional. What does he know? It's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. Worst case scenario. I'm so sorry, babe. Do you have any idea what happened? No clue. Some kind of freak accident or something? I don't know. Now I'm not going to be able to compete. What? Y you have to. Jack is right. This is your dream. Garrett, you're the strongest person I know. You motivated me through hard times. Now it's my turn to help you. You know what? 
You guys are right. I'm gonna win that competition, even if I have a busted wrist. Hey, Garrett! Yeah, I got your message, Dad. Why'd you want to see me? What the heck did you do to your wrist? Oh, I just messed it up lifting. It's nothing to worry about. You still going to the strong man, huh? Yeah, of course I am. Well, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You could end up seriously hurt. I'm fine, Dad. I've trained hard for this competition, and I'm not about to back out now. Plus, I wouldn't want to embarrass you. Will you just shut up and listen to me? Whether you believe it or not, I care about what happens to you. Do not go to that competition. All of a sudden now, you care? Look, I'm not good with talking about feelings and all that stuff. So do as I say and don't go to that competition. You still see me as that weak kid, but now I'm strong, Dad, and I'm going to show you I can do this. You'll see. Come on, you got this. Ah, this injury is not gonna hold me back. I'm gonna power through it and... Ow! Oh, okay, that's enough. Well, I just got off the phone with your father. He's very upset. Yeah, so what? Neither of us want you to do this. You know, I'll still be proud of you if you don't compete. I know that, Mom. But all Dad wants is for me to not embarrass him again. He really doesn't care. Tweety, your dad might not always show it in the best way, but he genuinely is worried about you. He doesn't want you to get hurt. Well, he doesn't have to worry. I can handle it. Well, I understand your determination. You are definitely your father's son. Yeah, I guess I am. And just like him, I want to win. I'll be cheering you on from the crowd. Just please be careful for my sake. I will, Mom. And thanks. All right, folks, the final round is here. Up next, Cole Murdoch will be lifting a bus. Oh, piece of cake. Whoa! He's done it! Incredible! Oh, yeah, I am incredible. You hear that, Garrett? I'm incredible. Yeah, this is pretty impressive, Cole. But I've got something up my sleeve. Watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, he can't be doing it. No, impossible. Oh my gosh! Uh, ah! Ladies and gentlemen, Garrett Murdoch has lifted a plane! Unbelievable! Yeah! Uh, can you do this, Cole? Oh, uh, uh, yeah! Obviously! Move out of the way, loser. This is nothing. Oh, 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 this is impossible! <laughs> Garrett has done it! He has won the world's strongest man competition! He did it! Our son did it! Wow, I'm proud of you, son. <sighs> now, whatever, I guess you've proven yourself. You're one of us now, Garrett. Thanks, Cole. I wasn't doing this to prove anything to anyone but myself. All right, Andrew, today is the day you're gonna propose to your girlfriend, Brandy. Oh man, I'm so excited and extremely nervous. Whoa, what was that? Oh my gosh, a car crash. Brandy! Andrew, please, help me, I'm stuck. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, just do something, save me. I'm too weak, I can't lift this car. Huh? Ow, ow, you're moving it more on my leg. Ow, ow. Andrew, are you okay? Oh no, I think I threw up my back. All right, everybody, stay calm, stay calm. What happened here? The car crashed and I need help, please. My boyfriend tried to help and... Seriously? You're a weak idiot. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll help you out first and then we'll take care of that dumb boyfriend of yours. Thank you so much. Oh man, I'm sick and tired of feeling so weak. I promise, I'm gonna be the strongest man in the world one day. I never want to be in that position again. And I can't help the people that I love. So I'm gonna work out as hard as I can and I'm gonna become the strongest person ever. Huh, huh, huh. Oh man, my asthma is really acting up. Maybe lifting weights is a whole lot easier. 30, 40 pounds? Chia, yeah, only 30 pounds? You're so weak, you idiot. We're all trying to do our best here. Yeah, no way. I've heard all about you. My brother was that EMT that saved your girlfriend's life. Wait, seriously? What kind of coincidence is that? Well, my brother's been telling everyone how pathetic you were. You were just laying there hurt while your girlfriend was in trouble. <laughs> hey, I tried my best to save her, okay? Maybe I wasn't strong enough then, but I'm going to be strong enough. Just wait and see. Oh, yeah? I bet you can't even lift a piece of paper. <laughs> just go home already. 
not going anywhere because that's giving up. And the strongest person in the world does not give up. All right, let's go with this one. All right. Oh, man, this is heavy. Ow, ooh, ow. Wow, you really are a weakling. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't hurt too badly. I gotta go check up on Brandy. I'm actually feeling pretty good. My leg is almost fully healed. Hey, wait a second. Why do you look so sad? It's a good thing that I feel better. No, no, it is. It totally is. I just beat myself up a lot thinking about how I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry, Brandy. Andrew, it's okay that you didn't save me. Not everyone can lift a car. Plus, that's what EMTs and firefighters are for. Yeah, I know, but I love you so much and I had to do something. What are you doing here? Actually, just hurt myself again trying to lift weights. <laughs> Seriously? I've never seen you lift more than a bag of groceries. Why were you doing that? Because I never want to feel that hopeless again. I know I'm weak. Probably the weakest person on the planet. But now, I'm going to be the strongest person ever. And I'm going to dedicate my life to helping people. I think that's a great idea. But don't push yourself too hard, okay? Because you could get hurt again. Hey, Brandy! Oh my gosh, Chet, hi! What is he doing here? I just wanted to check on Brandy since she has a weak loser for a boyfriend. Seriously, dude, back <laughs> off, okay? She's my girlfriend. I did my best to try and save her. Yeah, well, I'm the one that ended up saving her. So you should be with the real hero, Brandy, not some weak idiot. I am not a weak idiot! Guys, that's enough! Both of you, leave! The jerk Chet has no idea what he's talking about. I'm not a weak loser. I'm just weak. All right, let's get to it. Instead of 30 pounds, let's go up. Let's go 15. All right, yeah, this isn't that bad. I can do this. Hey, man, what's up? Look, man, if you're going to make fun of me, just leave me alone. Whoa, hey, I'm not here to make fun of you. I saw you at the gym last week. My name's Reggie. Uh, hi, Reggie. Uh, I'm Andrew. I'm surprised to see you back here, man. Most people go to the gym a couple times and just give up and never see him again. Well, thanks. Figure just one little setback shouldn't make me quit. You want to get stronger? Why don't I give you some help? Wait, really? Exactly, man. Yeah, man, I could definitely help you. And no offense, but you definitely need it. Yeah, I for sure do. I'm willing to take any advice you got for me. All right, let's do this. Weight is important, but it's mostly about the reps, man. Yeah, okay. Come on, man. Core strength is important. Let's go. Uh, uh, Come on, man. Hit the bag harder. Hit it. Hit it. You know, I feel really good about myself. Yeah, man, you should be. I can see some instant improvement out of you. You got this. All right, I can already feel myself getting stronger. I know I really want to dedicate myself to helping people, change my life, and do good. I think I know exactly what I want to do. I'm going to be a firefighter. Excuse me, are you the fire chief? Yeah, name's Dale. How can I help you? Hi, Dale. My name is Andrew, and uh, I really want to be a firefighter. <laughs> Kid, that's funny. No, sir, it's not a joke. I would really want to be a firefighter. I was hoping you could tell me maybe how I could get started. Yeah, all right, and all right. Look, could... hold your horses, all right? got to be fair and honest with you, man. You need to be in a whole lot better shape to be a firefighter. You seem like a nice guy, but look at you. Your body's shaped like a pear with little pretzels for arms. Yeah, sure. I may not be in the best shape now, but I'm working out almost every single day. I feel my body getting stronger, and I know this is what I want to do. Look, I like your enthusiasm and your determination. That's what it takes to be a firefighter in this place. A lot of these boys could take no so please tell me, how do I get started? Well, first you gotta take a fitness test, and then you can get into Firefight Academy. A fitness test? I can do that. No problem. There's one coming up in a couple weeks. Sign-ups are located online. Oh, thanks, Dale. I'll see you around. Yeah, I hope I see you around too. Freddy, was that my sandwich? All right, I can do this. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? I'm applying to be a firefighter, if it's any of your business. Here, what? That's <laughs> the funniest thing I've heard all day. Oh, really? I'm glad my life dream is something so funny to you, Chet. A loser like you could never be a firefighter. I just still can't believe that Brandy would be with someone like you. Doesn't matter what you think. Brandy loves me for who I am. She probably sees right through you and your fake act. No matter what you think, I know what my goal is now, and I'm going to reach it. So just get out of my way, Chet. Hey, Reggie, we need to start stepping up my training. Stepping up your training? But why? Well, I need to pass a fitness test to get into the Firefighter Academy, so I've got to put the pedal to the metal. You know, if you dedicate yourself to this, you could become the strongest person ever, and I know that's your goal. Well, that's one of them. But my first goal is to pass this test and become a firefighter. All right, dude, let's get to it. All right, and time. Man, that was a really good workout today. Yeah, it was. It felt really good. These past few months have been amazing. I really think I'm going to become the strongest person ever real soon. <laughs> Andrew, I love you buddy, but you've got a long way to go. I have to admit, I am really proud of you from the progress you made. Oh, thanks, Reggie. I don't know if I'd be able to do it without your help. Why don't we get some food? Because I'm starving. Yeah, 
That's a good idea. Wow, you look beautiful. <laughs> Stop it. You know, I'm so excited to see you. It's been so long since we've gone on a date together. Yeah, I know. Well, are you ready to head in? More than anything. Ah! Oh my gosh, what was that? That guy up there. Someone please help, help. Hold on a second, Brandy. I gotta help this guy. Andrew, wait. It's all right, man. I'll just hold on tight, okay? Please hurry. All right, what's your name? My name's Billy. All right, Billy, just grab my hand. Ah! Whoa, thank you so much. You saved me. No problem, man. I'm just glad I was nearby. You sure you're okay? Yeah, thanks to you. Man, I'm gonna quit this job. Oh my gosh, Andrew. That was incredible. You saved that man's life. I am starting to feel a whole lot stronger, that's for sure. <coughs> Your asthma is still acting up. Yeah, but... But it's okay. I'm actually happy I was able to save somebody. Look at you, my big strong hero. Oh, stop it. Come on, let's go inside and celebrate. I'm gonna get you a nice, fancy meal. Hey, Reggie, you ready to get started? Yeah, man, you're here early. You look more determined than ever. Yeah, well, I'm ready to become stronger than I already am now. I saved someone's life last night. Wait, you did what? Some man tripped and fell off a building. He got stuck and I was able to save him. Whoa, dude, that's impressive. See, look, you're already getting stronger. Yeah, I am, and I need to keep going. I want to make a difference in the world, man. Dude, you're going to make a difference. Trust me. But these workouts are going to be a lot more intense now. Yeah, well, I'm ready for anything. <laughs> you say that now. But let's get started. Huh, how was my time? Dude, that was the fastest time that you've done yet. All right, let's go. Oh, man, I feel so pumped. Man, I've got to say, you've gotten into such incredible shape. You're way stronger than you were before. Yeah, and I feel a whole lot better, too. How's your asthma doing? Well, actually, I think it's starting to get a little better. I feel myself a little less out of breath more and more each day. Great, that's awesome. But I'm still far away from my goal. Yeah, well, I think you're going to pass the fitness test with ease at the fire department. Hey, Dale! Andrew! Is that you? Dude, you look incredible! Yeah, man, I told you I was gonna improve. Been a long time. I'm kinda shocked to see this transformation. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to sign up for the fitness test. I wanna get into the Firefighter Academy. Oh, yeah, no problem. We got a test coming up next week. I'll be there. What on earth are you even doing here? I'm taking the fitness test. You really think you can pass? <laughs> That's a funny joke. Honestly, Chet, the joke is you. I am going to pass, and I'm going to get right into that firefighter school. Probably finish first in my class, too. You don't deserve to be a firefighter. You have no idea what it's like to save a life. Actually, Chet, I do know what it's like to save a life. And if you'll excuse me, I have a test to pass. All right, Andrew, are you ready? More than ever. Excellent. Now the test is timed. You gotta run through the course and get to the finish line in one piece. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. I can do this. I got this. I'm gonna become a firefighter. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Man, my leg. Andrew, Andrew, are you okay? I think I'm okay. It's just my leg. Oh! Sorry, Andrew, but uh, time's run out. You failed the test. Ow, ow, ow. It's all right. Don't worry. You're just fine. <sighs> Well, it hurts really bad. What happened, Doc? Well, unfortunately, kid, you broke your ankle. Now you can't work out until it heals. Seriously? I need to take time off the gym? How long are we talking? Like a couple days or... A couple days? Try a couple months. You need to take it really easy and let this broken ankle heal properly. Come on, Doc. I can't be out of the gym for that long. Well, you don't really have a choice now, do you? I guess I really don't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta attend to some other patients. I'll be back later. Man, this sucks. Hey, how you feeling? Oh, damn. Oh, hi, uh, I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling good. I heard the doctor. Broken ankle, huh? Yeah, and I guess I'll be out of the gym for a while, too. Man, I gotta say, it really sucks that you didn't pass the fitness test. But we got more coming up, so you can always take it again. Really? Well, that's some good news, at least. You definitely have to take it again next time. Yeah, well, good luck and rest up, okay? Keep yourself in one piece. We'll need you at your best if you're gonna pass and join the team. I will, uh, I promise. I'll catch you later, Andrew. Oh, man, I feel more determined than ever. I know for a fact I'm gonna pass that exam. Oh, I just gotta let this heal first. Alright, I know the doctor said I still have some more time to heal, but I feel fine. I can do this. I can work out with a broken ankle. Alright, let's just start with some basic weights. Oh, oof. oh, well, well, well. If it isn't the one-legged wonder. 
<laughs> Man, I really gotta start working out at another gym. What do you want? I just came to say that I'm so sorry you didn't pass the fitness test. I guess you just really weren't strong enough. I was strong enough. It was just an accident, that's all. The accident was letting you take that test in the first place. Just face it, you're never gonna be strong enough. Chet, why don't you leave Andrew alone? Or do you want to deal with me? <sighs> Whatever. I'm just here to work out, man. You know, I feel much better. I'm, I can get back to it. Oh, no, you can't. Look at you. You're a mess. How bad does that ankle hurt? It hurts pretty bad, but it's fine. It's really fine. I, I know I can do this. Listen, Andrew, I know that you want to be strong, but you can't do anything if you're hurt. A strong person knows when to rest. Just go home, okay? Reggie, I don't want to just give up. You're not giving up. It's smarter for you to heal up and then come back. Yeah, I guess maybe you're right. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. Whenever you're ready, we can get back to it. So, it's been a month now, Andrew. How's your ankle feeling? I think I'm basically back to 100% now. I'm just gonna start going back to the gym with Reggie, and I'm gonna get back on track. You know, I gotta say, you are so determined to do this. It's really nice to see. Well, I'm just determined on reaching my goal, that's all. I set it for myself, and I have to meet it no matter what. I agree, Andrew, but I just don't want you to overwork yourself. I worry about you. I'll be fine, Brandy. Don't worry. You better be fine, Andrew. This goal of yours is great, but I don't want it to hurt you. I promise. I promise. I'm not gonna push myself too far, and I'll be careful. Hey, Brandy! Wow, you're looking incredible today. It's great to see you. Oh, hey. It's good to see you too, Chet. You're seriously still with this loser? <laughs> It's honestly unbelievable. Wait, Brandy, I got this. Chet, back off me and my girlfriend. Get lost. I'm just trying to show Brandy what she's missing out on, man. Look, if you're ever looking to ditch this zero and you actually get with a real hero, you know where to find me. Well, it looks like your ankle's all healed up. Now it's time to get back to work, Andrew. Dude, I am more than ready to get back in this gym. I've honestly missed this place. This is going to be tougher than before, but this is where the real growth comes. Don't worry, I can handle it. I want to be even stronger than I was the last time I took that fitness test. So when are you going to take the test? Probably taking it another week. Soon I'm going to be the strongest person ever. I already feel like I'm getting closer to that goal. All right. Just the last bit left. I got this. I can do this. And finished. Oh, man. Andrew, you passed the test. Honestly, you broke my record. Oh, man. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for you to say that. Welcome to the Firefighter Academy, Andrew. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Dale. You thought that was a hard test? Being a firefighter is not an easy job. We are risking our lives on a daily basis to save others. And that's what I want to do. I want to save people. And I'm more than up to the task. Are you sure this is what you want? Because once you go back. No, trust me. This is absolutely what I want. All right. I can't wait for you to start class. All right, Andrew, this is your first fire. You ready? Yeah, more than anything. What do you need me to do? Help me, please! Help me! Oh, someone's still inside. Don't worry, I'll go get him. Hold on, Andrew, wait! Don't go in on your own! Oh, man, this fire is super intense. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> Hello? <coughs> hey, is anybody here? Help me, please! Help! Oh. I'm here. Help me, I'm stuck! Don't worry, I got you. <coughs> oh. Thank you. All right, follow me out. I can't see. <coughs> oh, the smoke is so bad. I know, but don't worry. I got you. Oh, you saved my life. Thank you. Oh, all in a day's work, man. Don't worry. I'm glad you're okay. No way. He actually did it? <coughs> I won't let him succeed. I can't. <sighs> Just finishing up my lap and... All right, done. Oh, man, that was a nice jog. Time to treat myself to a little coffee. Well, 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 look who it is. If it isn't the new hero in town. Just minding my own business, Chet. Why don't you mind yours? How can I possibly do that when your stupid attempt at being a firefighter went horrible? What are you talking about? I saved a man's life. Sure, but you look like an idiot doing it. Why do you hate me so much? You barely know me. You do nothing but put me down. What is your problem? You know what? Fine, I'll tell you. I've always been the strongest and the coolest person. I was the one that broke records and saved people. Not you. Now you're trying to act like you're so big and so strong. You think you're better than me, don't you? No, I don't. I don't think that way at all. I'm gonna be the one that gets all the attention. Not you, you loser. Seriously, that's what you're doing this for? I thought you were doing it to help save people's lives, man. It's so lame. I'm gonna make sure that you fail. And I'm also gonna make sure that the world sees you for the fake, pathetic loser that you are. You'll never be the strongest person in the world.
98, 99, 100. Ooh, Andrew, that was a good job. That's your new personal best. Thanks, Reggie. You know, I'll keep beating these goals. Soon, I don't know if I'll have any more to beat. Only 100 reps? <laughs> Dude, how are you still so weak? Actually, that's pretty good. With only 100 reps, you're never going to be strong enough for the lifting competition. What are you talking about? Well, it's exactly what I just said. And whoever wins will be considered the strongest person ever. Me and Chad are going to enter. We're going to battle it out to see who's the strongest well count me in you're kidding right oh no i'm not kidding i'm definitely down to join that competition yeah there's no way you're ever gonna win it yeah well why don't we just wait for the competition and find out huh see who the strongest really is well it's gonna be me so just don't even bother 48 49 50. All right, what's next? Hey, chicken legs, we gotta talk. Seriously? Yeah, a little birdie told me that you're gonna be at the lifting tournament. I'm guessing that little birdie is your dumb brother, Chad. Yeah, it was my brother, Chad. What makes you think you can join the competition anyway? Um, it's a pretty open enrollment. I just actually filled out a little application and- Just shut up, dude. You're so annoying. Hey, Chad, what's wrong? Seems as though you're upset that you actually have competition now. Competition? Yeah, right. I'm just annoyed that you'd even think about trying to join. Because I think you might be upset that there's someone else that could win this competition. And that would embarrass you, wouldn't it? There's no way you're going to beat me. I am going to beat you. Just wait and... Uh-oh, this is not good. Hey, Chief? Andrew, there's an emergency. We need you at the firehouse right away. I'll be right there. Chief, what's the problem? There's a tornado hitting downtown. We need to get over there and start helping people evacuate. Downtown? Brandy lives downtown. Yeah, a lot of people live downtown. This is an emergency, Andrew. We gotta get moving. Oh, no. This is completely destroyed. Oh, where could she be? Brandy? Somebody please help me. Help! Wait, that's her. Brandy, oh my gosh, are you okay? Andrew, please, I need help. Just like last time, you're too weak to pick up that car. Some hero you are. Not now, Chet. Brandy, I'm gonna lift the car off of you, okay? Look, just wait for the machine to get over here, okay? That car's clearly way too heavy for you. No, it's not. I've been working towards this moment. All right, Brandy, on the count of three, I'm going to lift the car. Okay, just hurry. One, two, three. Oh, oh my gosh. Andrew, you did it. You saved me. Yeah, I did. I'm so glad you're okay. No way. I can't believe this. So I'm thinking about taking Brandy on a vacation sometime soon. Ugh, just somewhere nice, you know? Somewhere where we can get away and escape. Hey, Andrew, I just wanted to tell you that I'm really proud of you. Proud of me? What are you talking about, Reg? I know you've been working really hard these past few months. You've come a long way, man. you stuck with it, and it's showing. Staying true to Brandy, you've become an inspiration, man. To me. Really? Because you're the one that inspired me, dude. Come on. No, nah, I'm serious. I'm really happy to see the person that you've become. Yeah, I am too. I was able to transform myself, and now I can really help people. You know how I've been keeping track of what you've been lifting, right? Yeah, of course. Well, I think you might be closer to lifting the world record. You've got to be kidding. Really? Yeah, man. You keep trying, and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. Could you imagine me beating a world record? That would be so cool. I think that's another goal added onto the list. There's no way I'm going to let that happen. Shh, be quiet. Sorry, dude. Got to make sure we're not caught, okay? Just can't believe we can't lift as much as Andrew anymore. Yeah, like, how do you get so strong? I don't know. He's always been a weak loser. And you know what? I'm not going to lose this competition. Yeah, so what are you going to do? I don't know. You got any bright ideas? Uh, I don't know. Maybe switch his weights or something? If the weights are crazy heavy, there's no way he could lift it, right? That's a great idea. I'm so glad I thought of it. Hey, there's no way he's going to be able to lift this. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Yeah, time to do a little warm up. What the heck? What? What is it? Huh? Oh, man. Can't seem to lift this weight at all. What are you talking about? That's the weight you usually start with. Yeah, I know, but something's not right. Oh, what's the matter? Can't lift that super light weight anymore, Andrew? Something must be wrong with the weights, that's all. Wrong with the weights? That sounds an awful lot like you've been cheating this whole time. Cheating? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I bet you've been using fake weights. I've been working out with Andrew for a long time now. He's never used fake weights once. And why should I trust you? Chet, don't get me started. All right, guys, enough. You did something to these weights, didn't you, Chet? No way. You're just a poor, pathetic weakling as always. I knew it from the start. Shut up, Chet. No, Reggie, stop. He's not worth it. I'm gonna go home. Oh, look, the poor baby's giving up again. Ha ha ha! 
Andrew, what's wrong? Just some stupid trick Chet pulled at the gym. What did he do? I don't know exactly. He must have messed with my weights or something. I couldn't even get started with my workout. That's not like you at all. Yeah, I know. It's just so frustrating. Hey, don't worry. It'll be okay. I still believe in you no matter what. Just got in my head is all, you know? I thought for a split second that, like, I didn't do all those things I was doing, you know? Well, I'm proud of you for everything that you've done. You're stronger, healthier, and you're one of the best firefighters in town, constantly saving lives. Well, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna become the strongest person ever, remember? How could I forget? You tell me all the time. I'm gonna go to that weightlifting competition and I'm going to win it. And I'm gonna break the world record too. That's great, Andrew. I'm just a little worried. Worried about what? I promise I've learned so much about working out now that I'm not gonna hurt myself while I do this. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried that you're doing this for the, for the wrong reason. What do you mean by that? Are you trying to prove to yourself or are you doing it to prove it to Chet? I'm doing it for both. You know, I wanna put that jerk in his place. And even if I have to start over from the whole beginning, I will. I'm gonna work super hard and prove it to him, myself, and everyone else. I know I can do this. I know you can too, and I have faith in you. All right, I got this, and done, huh? <sighs> wow, Andrew, that was a really fast 50 miles. I think you're in the best shape of your life now. Yeah, I know, but I just don't know why I could barely lift the other day. It was so weird. It just got in my head, I psyched myself out. You see, I've been meaning to tell you about that. Turns out that the normal weights were switched with heavier ones. They even somehow got the labels changed and everything. What? How is that even possible? I don't know. No one alone could lift that much weight. Like, say, maybe big, tough, strong brother. What are you trying to get at? Oh, I knew it. Chet, he was the one that tried to sabotage me. He's been at it from the start. Man, it just makes me so mad. I want to beat them more than ever now. I'm going to keep working harder and show them. Well, well, it's the cheater himself. Have you come to confess yet? Come to confess that I know the truth, Chet. You were the one that messed with the weights, didn't you? What? What are you talking about? You've been trying to sabotage me since the moment you met me, dude. Look, I don't need to sabotage you. I'm still going to win that competition. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. And when I do, I'm going to get you fired from the fire station. Fired from the fire station? How? How are you even going to do that? Oh, I've got my ways. Don't you worry. Chet, honestly, it seems as though you're the one that's worried. Worried that I'm going to embarrass you in front of a big group of people at that competition. What? No way. I I'm not nervous at all. I can see on your face right now. Yeah, whatever. You're going down at that competition. Just shut up and stay out of my way. You are the one that needs to shut up and stay out of my way. I'm sick of you messing with me. This ends now, Chet. Whatever. You know, I gotta say, it's nice we're all having dinner together. Yeah, Andrew, this was really a great idea. One of the few good ideas he's had. But Andrew, Reggie and I have been talking and we just wanted to say how proud we are of you. Wait, really? Yeah, man, of course. Seeing your journey from a long time ago till now, it's really impressive and inspiring. You don't let anything stop you and you work as hard as you can. And you stay true to yourself. That's the most important. Well, thanks, Reggie, for always believing in me. And a special thanks to you, Brandy. You've been my rock throughout this whole thing. So what's all this about? You take us to a fancy dinner to thank us? Sort of. I wanted to spend this special night with two of the most important people in my life. But more so you, Brandy. Me? What are you talking about, goofball? Well, I love you. And I love you too. And I'm glad I have my best friend Reggie here, because I don't know if I'd have the confidence to do it if he wasn't. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Andrew, what is going on? Brandy, you are the love of my life. Oh my gosh. When you got into that first accident, I was planning on doing this then. Things have gotten so crazy and, and I lost track of time. But I'm on track now, and I finally got the strength to ask you. Will you marry me? Andrew, yes! Yes, of course! I'm so happy. It's about time you two figured this out. <sighs> Shut up, Reg. Andrew, the ring is beautiful. Thank you so much. I love it, and I love you. I love you guys a whole lot. And with you by my side, there's nothing I can't do. Like taking first in that lifting competition? Oh, he's gonna win it, Brandy. Trust me. Andrew, I need to talk to you. Chet, I'm really not in the mood for this right now. Look, it's serious, so just listen, okay? Fine, what do you want to talk about? I wanted to apologize. Apologize? All right, I'm not falling for no, this. No, I'm being serious. I just felt insecure that I wouldn't be the coolest person anymore. Really? Chet, dude, you shouldn't care about what other people think about you. The only thing that matters is what you think. Look, I know, you're right. That's why I'm saying sorry. I really want to make it up to you. I heard about this amazing hiking path that we could hit up. Maybe we can go on a run or something. 
Really, Chet? I, I don't know. Come on, man. I I'm really trying here. Well, if you're serious, guess I don't see anything wrong with that. Awesome. Great. I'll text you the address. How much further do we need to go? It's just here, right up ahead. Look. Here? Seriously? I don't know, man. This is way out here. It's some nature before the competition should be good. How long did you say this path was? It's just a couple miles, but there's a sweet waterfall when you get to the end. Well, that's kind of cool. Why don't you go out ahead of me? You can take a look around. You know, this actually is kind of nice. Maybe we actually will be friends. Yeah, right. Me be friends with a weakling like you? Later, loser. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can't be serious, Chet. How could I have fallen for this? And now I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. How am I going to make the competition tomorrow? I'm going to get back there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the weightlifting competition of the year. We're about to get started in just a few minutes. Hey, uh, Chet, looks as though you're the only contestant here. Where is everyone else? <laughs> How should I know? Guess they're all just too scared. Well, they've got about five more minutes before they're disqualified. <laughs> Perfect. Looks like I am going to be the strongest person ever. Just wait, I'm here. Sorry. Well, it took you long enough. There's no way. You thought you could get rid of me that easily? Just think again, Chet. All right, I don't really care what's going on here. Let's get this weightlifting competition started. Ladies and gentlemen, up first is Chet. Chet, you need to lift this bus. That'll be a piece of cake. <laughs> All right, Andrew, you're up next. You think that's impressive? Check this out. Wait, where is he going? Ladies and gentlemen, he's running over to a plane. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, well, I can easily lift that too. <laughs> oh, oh, my back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our winner of the competition is Andrew. Yes, yes, I did it. You've just beaten the world record for lifting. This is it. I'm going to become the strongest man in the world. I can do this. Come on, push through. Believe in yourself. All right, and 10. Oh, man, that was a good set. Wow, 10 reps. Such a good job, Parker. Whatever, John. Just get out of my face, man. I'm training right now. You are such a nerd. You don't belong here. Well, I'm stronger than you, and I'm going to be the strongest person that ever existed. <laughs> you keep saying that. It's so funny. It's never going to happen. Yeah, well, we'll see, okay? I believe in myself. I know it'll happen. You think you can bench more than me? Put on an extra 50 pounds. Fine, whatever. All right, you got this man you got this and ah, ah my arm my arm <laughs> weak pathetic loser ah my arm it's killing me all right parker we gotta take you into surgery right now uh, okay sure whatever you gotta do doctor dad i can't believe you got hurt again look I, i'm sorry i just tore something in my arm it, it, it happens sometimes yeah yeah because you were following that stupid dream you could have been at work doing something productive with your life oh, come on now's not the time dad it's just like when you were a kid you have all these stupid dreams that you want to follow. Well, the rest of us live in the real world, Parker. Who's gonna pay for this surgery, huh? I'm gonna pay for it, Dad. Yeah, well, you barely have any money as it is. You're embarrassing. Come on. You're better than this, Parker. Dad, I'm following my dreams. I'm gonna be the world's strongest man. Who cares if you're strong? How do you make money being strong? You can, Dad. I don't have to tell you the entire business model right now, okay? I'm about to get surgery. Yeah, Parker, we need to go right now. Otherwise, you won't be able to fix this tear in your arm. I'm just so embarrassed of you, Parker. I want you to succeed, but not in this way. Whatever, Dad. I gotta listen to the doctor. Doctor. Come on, let's go have this surgery. Ah, uh, come on, you can do it. Mm, man, this stupid arm hurts. I'm gonna fight through this. I'm gonna get right back to where I was before, and everything's gonna be great. Parker, are you still at it, man? Yeah, of course. I gotta work on healing, you know? Yeah, exactly. You need to heal. Dude, give it a rest. No, every day that I'm not focusing on my dream is a day that I'm not achieving it. Yeah, but if you don't give yourself time to heal, you're not gonna reach your goal, dude. <sighs> I guess you're right. I mean, maybe I'm overdoing it a little bit. Yeah, and if dad catches you still doing this, he's gonna be even more mad than he already is. I don't care. Dad frustrates me, man. Like, he's just always trying to put me down. Always. Like, even when I was a little kid, it's just like, if I'm not doing what he thinks is good, then it's dumb. He's just trying to look out for us, man, you know? Trying to make sure we have a safe life and stuff. Yeah, I know dad likes to take the safe, easy way out, but nothing wonderful in life happens if you go the easy way. If you want to be great and successful, then you have to put in the work. It doesn't happen overnight. Speaking of work, do you you probably should get a job, you know? Like, show dad that you're listening to him. I have a job. I work at the gym. I train people. I mean, that's a job. It's just not the job dad wants for me. Plus, if I work at a job like yours, I can't work out. Ugh, always about this working out and stuff. Wait, you don't think I can do it either. You don't think I can become the world's strongest man. Parker, I believe you can do anything you put your mind to, but some things you just can't do. Wow, you know what, man? That really hurts my feelings, but... I gotta get going. I, I gotta focus.
man, this is tough. It's so frustrating, you know? I'm trying so hard. Nobody understands it. It's like, they don't get why I want to be this person. They don't remember when I was a kid and I used to get picked on and bullied every day. Someday, I wanted to be big and strong, that I could protect people. I never wanted anyone to ever feel this way again. Sometimes I wish that I wasn't so alone. Yo, Parker, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, man. I'm just, you know, going down memory lane. Yeah, been there, man. You getting back in the gym or what? We miss you, man. Yeah, dude, I really want to. It's just, I'm having a hard time getting back from the surgery, you know? But I'll be in as soon as I can. All right, good. The World's Strongest Man competition's coming up. And you're going to get first place. I know, and the prize is $1 million. Man, imagine having a million dollars. It's going to be incredible. And when you win, I'll be right there cheering you on. Oh, man, you're getting me motivated. I'm excited. You know what? I think I'm feeling fine. I'll be back at it tomorrow. What the heck is going on? Why is all my stuff on the front lawn? Oh, it's all getting ruined. Yeah, well, this is your new bedroom, Parker. Dad, what the heck is going on, man? You're not welcome here anymore until you start making some real money. Look, Dad, I told you I work at the gym. I pay my bills. I do what I'm supposed to do. Look, I don't care. I'm sick of you chasing this dumb dream. Why can't you be more like your brother? He has a good job in an office and it's easy. He gets to go to work every day and he's guaranteed a paycheck. Because maybe I don't want that out of life, dad. Well, you should. I told you before, you can't make money just because you're strong. Yes, I can, dad. This next competition wins a million dollars. But it's never gonna happen, Parker. Don't you get it? Do you know how hard it is to become the strongest man in the world? I understand that, dad. And that's why I'm doing the things that I do. Because that's what it takes to become it. Don't you get that? It's like you're living in a fantasy world, man, okay? You might be daydreaming, but the rest of us are working hard and living in this world. And I just want the best for you, Parker. Don't you understand that? No, Dad. You want what you want from me, not what's best for me. What's best for me is following my dream, and you should be supportive. Well, I'm not going to support you in that. You want to go get a real job? Fine. But until then, you can figure it out on your own. Oh, man. Sleeping on the floor doesn't feel that good. Hey, man, how'd you sleep? I slept pretty good. Thanks for letting me crash at the gym last night, man. Yeah, of course, dude. Home away from home, right? Yeah, you sure the owner doesn't mind? No, uh, I think he'll be fine. I mean, once you become the strongest man in the world, everyone's going to know this is the gym you trained at. Yeah, it's true. I'm, I'm excited to get started. I really appreciate that you believe in me like this, man. Well, I believe in you because I know you can do this. Yeah, you're right. I can do this. Come on, let's get started. It's been a little while. I'm probably rusty. Oh, man, yeah, this is a little harder than I remember. My arms still give me trouble. Yeah, man, it's just your injury, but you can work through it. Oh, this is frustrating, though. I just want to be where I was like a month ago, you know? Look, don't get frustrated. You can be physically strong all you want, but it's really about that mental toughness, you know? Yeah, it's true. I just got to get out of my own head. I need to focus. That's the important thing. I'm gonna get there. Ah, oh, man, I'm tired. Yo, Parker, looking good, man. Looking real good lifting the weights I lifted when I was five. <laughs> John, like, don't you have anything better to do than worry about what I'm doing? I gotta keep my eyes on the competition. Well, you're focusing all your time on me. Why aren't you in the gym doing something? I'm in the gym all the time. You don't know anything about me. I know about you, man. You're a bully. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this, is I don't want people like you winning in this world anymore. <laughs> Dude, you sound like a baby. There's no no way you're gonna beat me. I'm just better than you in every single way. You can think that, man. Whatever helps you sleep at night. I heard you're not sleeping pretty good at night. Heard you're sleeping at the gym now because your dad kicked you out. Hey, don't talk about my family, okay? It's none of your business what happened. Even your dad knows you're a pathetic loser. He doesn't want you around. Shut up, John. You don't know anything, okay? Just keep your mouth shut and walk away. Yeah, there it is. Ha! No one believes in you because you're a loser, Parker. Well, I believe in me, and that's the important thing. Well, whatever, man. When I get my million dollars and win the competition, I'll make sure to drive by you in my Lambo while you're homeless and on the street. I'll show you, John. I'll show everybody. Hey, Nick, thanks for buying me dinner, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course, man. I mean, uh, not like you're gonna buy it. You know, you're kind of broke. Dude, come on. I can afford to buy myself dinner. Why does everyone think I don't work? I work, okay? I work at the gym. <clears throat> man, I'm just messing with you, all right? But, I mean, seriously, you should start making more money. You can't be sleeping at the gym your whole life. I'm happy, Nick. It doesn't matter to me. I don't need to be rich. I just want to do the things that I want to do. I have goals, you know? Yeah, I know, I know. Enough about all this. So, what have you been doing? just been training. I mean, we have that million dollar competition coming up and I really want to win it. You know, you could probably make a million more dollars if you asked for a raise or maybe went and got another job, you know, did something cooler. What do you mean? Being the world's strongest man is pretty cool. Plus, I don't want to do that, man. It's not me. Listen, 
Dude, we actually have a job opportunity at my company. There's a position open, and you should apply. Seriously, man? You're starting to sound just like Dad. Suddenly, I'm not very hungry. I, I think I'm good. I'll see you later. Thanks for the dinner. Parker, dude, come on! It's time for me to get more serious. This competition's coming up. I really, really need to train. Are you gonna help me this next few weeks? I'll be by your side every single step of the way. I got you, man. All right, this is gonna be tough, but it's time to do it. You can do it, man! Let's go! Yeah, Parker! You got this! I can do it! I can do this! Come on! You've almost got it! What? He's what? He's actually doing it? No, no, this can't happen. I did it! I lifted a car! This is unbelievable! Yo, let's go! Ugh, no. I'm gonna take care of this. Whew. Man, I'm tired. All right, come on, Parker. Only five more miles, and then you can get to the... Ah! Oh, no! Ah, oh, my leg! Help! Someone, help! <laughs> Have fun training now, Parker. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe that I broke my leg like this. Parker, are you kidding me? Again? You didn't take that job from your brother and now you're on crutches? Stop yelling at me, Dad. I've had a pretty rough go of it lately. I've given you all the opportunity in the world and you're not taking it. I am taking it, Dad. I'm just not going down the path that you think that I should go down. Don't you get that my life is different than yours? You're gonna destroy yourself. You're gonna destroy your body if you keep doing this. Dad, I was set up. It was a freak accident. It had nothing to do with my training. It doesn't matter. You're embarrassing. You know what it's like when I have to go and talk to my friends and they ask about you? Well, I'm sorry, Dad, okay? I'm sorry that I'm not the person you want me to be. But I'm Parker. I'm your son. This is who I am. Well, maybe who you are is not good enough for me. I just want to see you succeed. I want to see you do better than what you're doing. I'm gonna succeed, Dad. You just gotta trust me. I don't trust anything that you're doing anymore. I don't know where your head is at. You're, you're out of control. Dad, come back. Come on. Don't just drive away. Oh, man, I'm tired. Pretty excited to finally get some sleep. I never thought I'd be happy to be sleeping on a sleeping bag on the floor in my gym. Oh, hey, you! Yeah, what do you think you're doing? Oh, hey, it's all right. Logan said it was cool. He knows about my situation. I, I got nowhere to stay. I'm just crashing here while I work and train. What? I don't want some homeless person living in my gym. Are you kidding me? Uh, I mean, I'm not homeless. Like, I work here and everything. Oh, so what? You think you can just take advantage of me, huh? That's what you're doing. No, sir, I'm training. I, I put my heart and soul into this gym. I help everybody here. I'm not trying to take advantage. I want to give back. I want to help. Well, it looks like you're not giving back to anything but yourself. I mean, you got a nice place to stay here. Look, sir, I didn't mean to, to step on any toes. Logan said it was okay, and he's the supervisor here. Well, I'm gonna have to talk to Logan about this. And like I said, I work here too, sir. It's not like I just randomly started sleeping in your gym. I pay my own way. I pay for everything here. I, I just need a place out of the rain. Huh, you know what, though? You don't work here. What are you talking about? Yeah, because you're fired. Get out. I don't want you in here at all. Sir, come on, please reconsider. I, I really need this job. I really need this gym. Get out now. Fine. You know what? I'm not gonna let this break me. Things are gonna get better. I just have to believe it. So you had to sleep outside last night? Dude, it was raining. Yeah, I'm pretty well aware. It was uh, not great. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I didn't even know we were getting a new owner. I know. The old owner was so cool. Yeah, this guy, totally different story. Man, I feel so bad. I mean, I'm hurt anyway. It's not like I can really train right now. And John sabotaged me, man. I know it. I just got a feeling in my gut, you know? You really think so? You think he'd stoop that low? Yeah, actually, I do. That seems like a hundred percent something like he would do. He's awful to me. I think he's worried about competing against me. Yeah, he's worried because he knows you're gonna beat him, man. Don't worry, you'll heal up and you'll get back at it. Yeah, no, that's true. But I'm gonna need to find a way to make some money because I can't be homeless either. I might have to take that job with my brother, as much as it hurts me. Whatever you do, just don't give up. Make sure you make time for this because this is important too. I'm not giving up. Uh... I'll figure it out. Don't worry. I'll find a way to balance everything. Ah, oh, man, this is so frustrating. I can't run on these stupid crutches. <laughs> man, I've got to say, you look extra stupid right now. Shut up, John. I know that this is your fault. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be in these crutches right now. Why are you blaming your weakness on me, dude? I had nothing to do with this. My gut tells me that you did. You must have set that trap. You know I jogged there every single day. There wasn't a giant hole there the day before. All I know is that it was not me, but whoever did it is pretty pretty hilarious because this is this is insane whatever it's just a setback i'm not gonna let you stop me you can try to bully me and treat me bad all you want but i'm gonna do what i need to do keep telling yourself that parker because i know the truth you don't stand a chance i have more chance than you that's for sure <laughs> well for sure i have more money than you right now and i'm gonna have even more money when i win well if you want to win maybe you should start focus on training yourself instead of bothering me while i'm training i'm actually on my way to my private gym right now I'll let you get back to being the failure that everyone knows
pros you are. Wow, man, this job's turned out to be better than I thought. Yeah, dude, of course. I mean, what's wrong, though? Like, you don't look happy at all. Well, every hour that I'm focusing on this, I'm not focusing on my dreams. Yeah, well, you're earning money. It might feel like a setback now, but you're gonna thank yourself later, you know? I don't think that's the case at all. Oh, hey, what's up? You must be Parker. Nice to meet you. I'm your new boss, Stan. Oh, hey, how are you? Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, uh, yeah, your brother Nick was telling me that you're training to be the world's strongest man. That's incredible. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously I got hurt, so I'm taking a little time off, but yeah, I got that competition coming up. Nick, isn't that so cool? Aren't you so proud of your brother? Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, we support him so much. He's gonna, he's gonna do it. Yeah, well, you totally should. Yeah, definitely. And I noticed you at my gym. That's where you train, right? Downtown? I could have sworn I've seen you there. Yeah, I go to that gym, but unfortunately I got kicked out. They got a new owner and... Wait a minute. He kicked you out? I can't believe this. I helped him invest into buying that building. Don't worry about this. I'm gonna take care of everything. Wait, are you serious? Of course. You're part of the team now. Thank you very much for all your help. Well, I haven't done anything yet, but uh, thank you for your help. Alright, you two get back to work now. So your boss got you in here? Yeah, dude. It's like a super long story, but I guess he was like some investor and this guy buying the business or something. I don't know. It's awesome though. I'm so glad to be back here. I'm glad to have you back too, man. So are you going to quit your job or what? I don't know. I haven't figured it out. I mean, I'm making enough money right now where I can get by and I can stay in like a small place, but it's really expensive out there. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, then I guess you have to work harder and find that balance, right? Yeah, exactly. I want to train harder than ever before. That last injury set me back, but I'm focused now. All right. What do you say we get to training right now? feel so much more on track after that workout. I'm so focused. We're really going to do this thing, Logan. I'm going to win. Hey, Parker, really impressive training at the gym yesterday, man. You're getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, thanks for everything. I'm actually getting really close to being the strongest man in the world. Yeah, that's great. Hey, uh, look, I, I really appreciate the opportunity. I know it's affecting my training a little bit and everything, but, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can here, and I hope that I'm doing a good job. Awesome, thanks. Well, there's one more thing you can do for me, and that's uh, not work here anymore. What? Why? I, I need this job. I, I thought that you liked me. I do like you, and that's why I'm doing this. This doesn't make any sense. You're too talented to be focusing on what you're doing here. Here. If you really want to accomplish your goals, you need to focus 100%. Yeah, but I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. If I don't have this job, then I can't afford rent, and then I have no place to live. Look, you're inspiring, and I see greatness in you. Really? I'm going to sponsor you, and I'm going to cover all the costs. I'll pay for everything that you need as long as you work hard and focus. Wow, seriously? Yeah, of course. When you win a million dollars, you can pay me back. I mean, the competition's only a month away. It's not going to be that much. I'm pretty rich. Okay. Well, that's unbelievable. This is like the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Now get on out of this office right now and go follow your dreams. Thank you so much. Thank you. Man, I feel good right now. That was so nice of Dan to do that. He really believes in me. You're seriously still trying at this, aren't you? Yeah, obviously. What did you think? I was just going to back off? Yeah, and you should back off. Back out of the competition. No, I'm not going to do that. What is your problem, man? Are you afraid to lose to me? Is that what this is? <laughs> no, I'm not afraid to lose because it's not a possibility. Possibility. I'm not gonna lose. Yeah, no, you're gonna lose. I'm gonna win. If you didn't look at me as somebody that could, you wouldn't care if I was in the competition or not. If you don't quit, I swear. Ow, what the heck, man? Uh, hey, you. What? Get out of this gym and don't come back. You're kicked out. You don't punch people. What? Come on. I said you don't punch people. Get out of here. Uh, Parker, you're gonna be sorry for this. Whatever, man. We'll see when I beat you in this competition. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, you're doing it. I can't believe it. I did it. This is the world record, Logan. Do you know what that means? You are the world's strongest man. I can't believe it. Now I just got to prove it in competition. This car was heavier than the last one I lifted. Ah, uh, now it's going to be easy. You're going to show everybody. This is going to be awesome. Uh, hold on a second. I'm getting a call. It's my brother. Hello? Yo, what are you doing right now? Uh, I'm training, actually. I just had a huge breakthrough. This is, it's been pretty awesome. Ah, uh, whatever. Look, I want to do dinner with you and dad, okay? Yeah, I don't know if I should. I know you got in a fight with dad, but we're family. We can at least have a dinner together. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll be there in a little bit. 
Yeah, and now I look like an idiot because I'm the one that got him the job. That's how you repay your brother, huh? You just quit on him? No, I got a full sponsorship from his boss. I'm basically getting my salary, but I don't have to do that. I can just work out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you. Now you're just taking handouts from other people. You're taking advantage of this poor man who believes in you. You got him to buy into your stupid dream. And what are you going to do when you lose the competition? I'm not going to lose the competition, okay? It's not my fault that you guys don't have the mental strength to try to do the things that you want to do. I don't mind if I struggle because I know that the outcome is going to be worth what I went through. You're just ungrateful. You're ungrateful for everything we've done for you. And you're too weak to win, Parker. You're not the strongest man in the world. You don't think so? Well, check this out then. Where are you going? Get back here. How's this for strong, Dad? I don't care what you say. I'm going to accomplish my dreams. Stay out of my way. Parker, you're insane. Put that down. I don't want to hear anything from either of you two again. Oof. All right, how did I do? Actually, faster than your last lap. Dude, you keep cutting your time in half half almost. This is awesome. I feel so motivated. I'm gonna feel really great. The competition's coming up soon. Yeah, but are you really focused? What do you mean? I don't know. You kind of seem out of it, you know, ever since you told me about your dad. I'm not out of it at all. I'm not gonna let people that don't believe in me be around me anymore. I mean, it must be hard though, you know? That's your family. Yeah, well, a lot of great people say that you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I want to be a winner, and I want to be a good person. Well, I'm glad you hang out with me for most of it then. It must mean I'm a decent person. Yeah, you're great, Logan. I mean, it's just, you can't just sit around all day thinking about how bad things are, and how impossible things are to accomplish. Nothing's impossible. Dude, I feel the exact same way. Sometimes I get upset, but I like to go outside and maybe clear my mind, you know? Yeah, exactly. Do something positive. Speaking of positive, this sponsorship has been unbelievable. I'm so glad I can train every day. I'm just so grateful for everything that's happened. He has a sponsor? They're stupid for paying for someone as pathetic as him. <laughs> yeah, well, that's gonna change. I'll make sure of it. So what are you trying to say to me, man? He's gotta be cheating somehow. There's no way he's becoming the strongest man in the world. How is he cheating? I mean, what? I've seen him lift the weights. I'm telling you right now, the car is not regulation. The tires are fake. There's no engine in there. It's all a hoax. So what? He's just been doing this so that he can get his sponsor, huh? Trying to prove that he's gonna win the competition and then he won't win. And he wants that million dollars. And I want that million dollars. Hey, man, I think uh, I want a million dollars too. That's Sounds pretty good, but I'm not as strong as you guys. Who is the sponsor? That dumb business guy that talks to him all the time. He's always in the gym too. You've seen him. Oh, that guy? That guy invested in this gym when I bought it. He gave me some money. Oh man, he's gonna be real upset when he finds out this. Yeah, you gotta tell him. I'm gonna win that competition. All right, I'll do this for you, but at the same time, you gotta do something for me. You gotta win that competition and we split the million. If you help me, I'll help you. Plain and simple. Parker, yo. Oh, hey, Nick, what's going on? Dude, where have you been? I haven't seen you. Well, yeah, I mean, last time it was pretty obvious that you guys don't want me around, so I've just been focusing on the competition. It's coming up really quick. You and Dad just constantly fight all the time. Well, you didn't help either. You didn't have my back at all. You sided with him, and that really hurt my feelings. Oh, I'm really sorry. I want to support you, dude. You're my brother, and I love you, but because of that, I just think you need to focus on something else. Look, man, I'm not gonna apologize for being myself, okay? Like, if that's what you guys are looking for, and that's what you want, you're not getting it from me. Hey, hey, I don't want to pick a fight, all right? I'm just trying to be honest with you. Yeah, well, I mean, you said how you feel, but it's not going to change anything, and that's just how it's going to be. No, that's not how it should be at all. We're family, and we should be together. I agree. All I want is for you guys to just accept that this is who I am. Look, man, I do support you. Be the best person you can be, but I don't think... This is the best version of you. I'm sorry. Well, the good thing is, man, is you don't have to be me. I've had enough of this. We're just going back in circles. Uh, I really miss you, man. It was good to see you, but I, I gotta go. Parker, come on, dude. Just listen to me. All right, let's see if I can do this again. Come on, come on. Ah! Yes! Oh, man. I've got this on lock. I could probably lift something even heavier than this. Oh, so this is the fake car I've been hearing about, huh? What's it made out of plastic? Hey, no. What are you talking about? I know that you've been lying to me so that I'll pay for everything. And you haven't even been lifting real weights. What? Parker lifts all the time. There's nothing wrong with this car. Yeah, I don't know where you heard that from. I would never do that to you. Come on, you know me better than that. I don't know anything about you, okay? I'm dropping the sponsorship. No, please. Look, you can try to lift the car yourself. It was made out of plastic. 
you'd be able to lift it. No, I'm sore from my workout. I don't need to go and try to lift up a car, okay? I'm the one that's giving you money, and now I'm taking it away. Okay, fine. Wait, Parker, you can't be serious. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. It's obvious that somebody got into his head. If he doesn't believe in me, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that we believe that we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do it, okay? Yeah, yeah, nice story, okay? But I'm gonna let you know they don't use fake weights in competition. Man, I'm so angry right now. Somebody must have said something to him. It was probably John. If it really was him, that guy just took it to the whole next level. Yeah, seriously, dude. He must be really afraid to go against me in competition. He knows I'm gonna win, and that's gotta be scary for him. But now you don't have a sponsor. Dude, what are you going to do? Honestly, man, like, I don't care. I'll sleep outside. I'll sleep on the ground. I'll do whatever it takes to get there. Dude, you can't sleep outside. What if it rains again? You could get a cold. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Look, I'm not gonna let you sleep outside. Crash it my place, okay? At least you can sleep on the couch. Yeah, I'd really appreciate that. That would be great. You know, hopefully, uh, John doesn't find a way to get us kicked out of your apartment, too. Don't worry about John. Actually, I think we need to talk about a way to get back at him. We can't let him get away with this. No, I'm not gonna stoop to that level. I'm gonna beat him fair and square, and that's how we're gonna get back at him. Alright, I'm not gonna let anything get me down today. Hey, what are you doing in here? Well, I still have a month on my membership. Yeah, but that's before I heard that you were a stupid cheater. I'm not a cheater. First First of all, what have I cheated at? I'm just lifting weights by myself. Everyone else can lift weights too. You cheated my friend. That's the difference, okay? I would never do anything like that. I just want to work out and get into this competition. Look, man, I don't care either way. I've been wanting to get you out of this gym for a long time and I'm rolling with it. Get out of here. This is so frustrating, Logan. It's like one thing after another, man. Yeah, but honestly, look at it. This isn't the worst thing that's happened to you. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. I never let anything stand in my way. And honestly, you've trained enough. Competition signups are tomorrow. I can't believe it. The day is almost here. And this is the big time. All the regulations and rules, everybody's gonna be treated the same. There's no cheating in this competition. Yeah, and I'm gonna prove to everybody that I'm the strongest man in the world. Yeah, you definitely will. Is your family gonna be there? They need to see this too. I don't know. I doubt it. I don't know if I should even tell them about it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's not like they don't know about it. You talk about it all the time. Yeah, I don't know. I just haven't seen him, you know? You should at least go see your dad. Invite him in person. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's the right thing to do, and, and honestly, I really would like it if he was there. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. The line is so long. It's a lot of people that want to join this competition. Wow, I can't believe the cheater actually decided to show his stupid face. Whatever, John. I know that you sabotaged me. And guess what? I'm still here. And you're going to make a complete embarrassment out of yourself. Well, the good thing is there's no cheating in competition. So I'm just going to prove to everybody how strong I am. I'm the strongest man in the world. No, you're not. I am. And I'm going to prove it to you when I beat you. You're not going to win because good always conquers evil. And you're a bull. Bully. Bullies don't win. Really? Ha, huh. you can say that to me when I have my million dollars and I wave at you from the stage and laugh in your face. Parker, uh, I'm surprised to see you. What's going on? Hey, Dad competitions tomorrow. Oh gosh, all right, here we go. You're still going through with that, huh? Look, Dad, I worked hard to get there. I'm not gonna just back out now. You know I still don't approve of this, Parker. I know, but I really like it if you were there, you know? I know this isn't something that you dream for me or whatever, but this is my life, Dad, and I want to share it with you. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. What's there to think about, Dad? Why won't you go? Parker, I don't want to keep going through this, okay? You're my son, but you know how I feel about it. Dad, it's one competition. This could be the start of an entire career for me. Don't you get that? It's kind of like your first job when you were at the factory, you got to move up. Same with what I want to do. No, it's different because what I wanted to do was a real job. You just want to live in this fantasy world where you're some superhero or something. Well, superheroes aren't real, okay? Look, Dad, I didn't come here to fight with you, okay? I know that I'm never going to live up to whatever expectation that you have, and I'm always going to be a disappointment in your eyes no matter what I do. But this is something that means something to me, and I just thought that you, you could maybe see past that for one day. Maybe actually care about me for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final stage of the world World's Strongest Man competition. Up next, we have John. Ha, not a problem. Wow, absolutely incredible. John lift the car in almost record time. Up next is Parker. See if you can do better than that, nerd. Yeah, no problem. Wait, Dad? Hey, you came? Hey, uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what all this hard work went towards, you know? Wow, Dad, that really means a lot to me. Yeah, you thought about a little bit of what you said, and maybe I've been a little hard on you, you know? If this is your dream, even if I don't understand it, maybe it's something I can learn to live with. Well, thanks, I appreciate it, Dad. I'm gonna show you right now that I am the world's strongest man. Parker, are we gonna do this competition or what? Watch this, Dad. Wait, what is he doing? Ah! 
Oh my word! Look! This man has just lifted double the weight! He is the world's strongest man! Ladies and gentlemen, gather around! We present to you the greatest boxer of all time, Hunter! Hunter, look out! What the? Hunter, what's the matter with you, huh? You ain't progressing at all, kid. Look, I'm trying my best, okay? I'm going to be the greatest of all time someday. I I'm telling you. Uh, just go home, Hunter. No, coach. Come on, let's keep fighting. Oh, if he wants to lose again, let's go. Fine. One more round. Three, two, one, go. Come on, man. You got this. Oh! <laughs> You're the worst of all time. <laughs> Shut up, Bryce. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to agree with Bryce on this one. Anna. Yeah, you're done. Go home. Rest and uh, really think if this is really what you even want to do. Whatever. This is what I want to do. And I'm not giving up. I can't let anyone bring me down. I could do this. You know, I should jog home. That way I can get in some more training. Oh, man. I really need to run more. This is tough. I gotta slow down. I'm having trouble breathing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold up. Oh, great. <laughs> Look who we got here. Hunter, dude, you're in such bad shape. It's not even funny, man. No, I'm not. And I'm getting in better shape every day. <laughs> and you call yourself a boxer? I do. And I'm going to be one, Bryce. Oh, no way, nerd. Keep dreaming. Come on. I'll give you a ride home. Okay, fine. <laughs> Sight! See you, loser! <laughs> Bryce is such a jerk. I just need a better plan to make my dream happen. None of this is easy at all. Hey, hey, Hunter. Yeah, we gotta talk, man. What's going on? You haven't been paying your rent, Hunter. I thought I paid you last month. What do you mean? Yeah, you did for the other last month. You're a month behind, you stupid bum. Look, I'll get you the money, Bobbert, okay? You've told me that before, kid. You know, you're gonna have to get out of here pretty soon. I don't rent to broke losers. Look, I just need some time, Bobbert, okay? There's a fight coming up, and if I win, I can get the money and pay you. You? <laughs> win a fight? You suck at boxing, dude. I've seen you box. I don't suck. I'm actually pretty pretty good. You're not your dad, you loser. No matter how much you wish you were. Yeah, yeah, your dad was a great boxer or whatever, but you're the worst one I've ever seen. Shut up. I will be like my dad someday, and I'll be the greatest anyone has ever seen. I need to make him proud. Yeah, well, you won't. You know, are you sure you don't have a concussion, dude? Your mind doesn't really seem right. Come on, Bobbert. Look, please, just give me another chance. I can't be out on the streets. Oh, fine. But only because I liked watching your dad when he was a boxer. Not you, though. One month, Hunter. Give me my money or you are out of here. Okay, I can do that. She need to make sure that I win that fight. I really need to get better. I want to make my dad proud and become a great boxer, just like he was. You know, I'm finally starting to get the hang of this. I'm doing a lot better. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Mr. Determination himself. You know, Bryce, back off, dude. <laughs> nah, you know, I'm going to win my next fight. It's a shame you'll never know what that feels like. I'm going to win my next fight too, man. Just watch me. <laughs> Are you kidding? You might not even qualify. I will. <laughs> we'll see about that. You're a weak loser, and I'm the best fighter here. Yeah, well, why don't you hit the punching bag more and stop talking to me then? Huh, <laughs> fine. Stupid jerk. He makes me so mad. Ah! Ah! Ow, my hand! Oh, no. Something's wrong. Well, it's pretty obvious. I think you broke your hand. You think I did, or did I actually break my hand? Yeah, I was just trying to be polite about it, but it's broken, dude. No, no, I have a fight that I have to win. Hunter, if I'm being honest with you, you shouldn't be boxing. And honestly, you're not that great at it. Yeah, not yet, but I will be, all right? I'm just practicing. Come on, Hunter, you're not your dad. He was one of the greatest of all time boxers. And I don't think you have that talent. Thanks for the pep talk, but I know what I'm doing. I'm just being real with you, man, all right? Whatever, okay, just please help me fix my hand. I mean, are you looking at it? It's pretty messed up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it in time. You just need to not, like, use it as much. I don't have a choice, okay? Well, listen to me or don't listen to me. What do I know? I'm only a doctor with a PhD! No, this isn't going to stop me. I can't let it. I know it's risky to do this fight, but it's what you would have done, Dad. 
I miss you so much, and I wish you were here to guide me. I just can't believe it still. That cold night, the snow was so bad. I remember leaving that restaurant after your last fight, and you wanted to go home, but I had to go get ice cream. It was something we always did, but we lost control. You didn't make it because of me. I wish I would have just listened to you. But I know that you're watching over me. And I'm going to do better, okay? I promise, Dad. I'm going to make you proud. I have a lot riding on this. I need this money or I'm going to be homeless. I need the win. Up next is Hunter! Okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> you suck, Hunter! Uh, Hunter, you don't have to do this. <sighs> yes, I do, Coach. I don't have a choice. Chaw, you ready to lose or what? No way! Okay, Hunter, this time you fight back! Ah! Ah, my hand! <laughs> Idiot! Ugh! Hunter? Hunter! Ugh, Coach? Are you alright? You were out for a while, you scared me. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Look, this isn't the right sport for your kid. Yes, it is, Coach, okay? I know that it's in my blood. Hunter, it's not. Your dad was a good friend of mine, so I let you train with our team. But you suck at this, man. You can't fight with us anymore. No, you're wrong. I just need more time. Just trust me. I'm doing you a favor. Quit now before you make more of a fool of yourself. Please, Coach, just give me another chance. No, you embarrassed our gym too many times. Not to mention how many times you've embarrassed me personally. You're out, kid. Fine, I'll show you guys anyway. You just made a mistake. Well, 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 where's my money, Hunter? I lost, Bobbert, okay? Yeah, I know, idiot, I saw it on the TV. But it's my money and I want it now. Hey, hold on. You said you'd get me until the end of the month. It's only been a few days. Yeah, well, you lost the fight, you got no job, and you are so, so pathetic. There's no way you're gonna get it for me in time. Wait, Bobbert, shut it! You kicked out. Please, I need a place to stay. You said you'd give me until the end of the month, so give it to me. You suck so bad, I can't even hear you anymore, dude. You gotta get out of here right now, or we're gonna have a problem. No, fine. I can handle whatever comes my way. Homeless or not, I'll work hard to reach my goals. I have to. I'm not gonna let anything stop me. Oh, so this is where you're training now? The homeless wannabe boxer. What a dub. Ugh. You're one to talk, Bryce. Hey, Bryce, ease up. You lost your fight too, you know. Oh, yeah, shut up, John. We both know I'm not as bad as Hunter. I said to leave him alone. Oh, I can't believe you're gonna stick up for this guy. Yeah, well, I actually like Hunter. You know you shouldn't treat people badly, Bryce. Oh, whatever. You guys suck. Hey, thanks, John. No problem. I saw your fight, and you know, it took guts to fight with a broken hand, kid. Yeah, but I wish I was smarter, though. Probably wasn't the best move. No, definitely it wasn't. But it shows that you really care about the sport and what you're doing. Yeah, I'm on my own now. The coach kicked me out of the gym. This is the only place I can train. Come to my gym. I can train you if you want. Just let your hand heal first. Really? Thanks, yeah, I love that. Cool, just let me know when the doctor clears your hand and then we can get started. Today was a good day. John is a great trainer and a boxer. He believes in me and that means everything. All I need is a chance. Hey, what are you doing here? You're not allowed here. Get out of here. Look, sorry. This is all I have, okay? I've got nowhere to go. I don't care. I'm the property manager. And what I say goes. Oh, man. You're a terrible person. Ooh, and you're terrible at boxing. All right. Your hand's all healed up, Hunter. That's awesome. Now I can get back to training at 100%. Um, I'm gonna have to be honest with you, man. I think you should consider doing something else. What? Why would I? I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Yeah, well, you'll probably be broke forever, and you'll probably break all the rest of the bones in your body. Look, this is my passion, Doc, okay? I'm not giving up. Well, you're gonna have to figure out your whole, like, life situation that you got here, all right? One way or another. Oh, by the way, you owe me, like, 20 grand for that broken hand. $20,000? Uh, I don't have that much money. Too bad. That's how much it costs. I need it now. 
No, I'm sorry, okay? I'll pay you back. Run all you want. You still owe me that money, pal. What is happening to my life? I need to make some money and fast. Thanks for helping me out, John. I really appreciate it. Of course, dude. And I know that there's so much that you can teach me. Yeah, and you have a lot to learn. I'm glad that your hand's doing better, too. Well, I'm ready to work hard, man, okay? I'm giving you my best. I'm gonna give you my all. Just, uh, understand that this isn't gonna happen overnight. You need to be committed to training really hard. It's a skill that you're gonna develop over time. I know, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. It'll be at least six months before I think you could be considered ready to even spar. Six months? Oh, okay, all right. I'll do whatever I have to do. Awesome. Let the training begin. Oh, come on. Uh, I can do this. Uh, oh, man. This is tough. You're doing amazing, dude. Thank you so much for all of this, man. I feel like I'm actually starting to get better. You are getting better, and I think it's time for you to try another match. Well, I don't know. You said that it's going to take a while, right? Yeah, I did, but where is all this hesitation coming from? Look, I don't know if I can do it, John. Of course you can, okay? You're more than ready. I know I could use some money. Okay, I'm willing to try if you think I can do it. Of course I think you can. You're definitely ready. I'm really nervous, man. You can do this, Hunter, okay? Just believe in yourself. I know. I feel like my dad is watching me somewhere. I'm gonna do it for him. I'll be right there for you in the corner, man. You got this. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. You're gonna lose, Hunter! Shut up, Bryce. I don't care what you think. You're my opponent? <laughs> I'm gonna smash your face in. Yeah? We'll see about that. Okay, just stay calm. Hey, you're supposed to suck at fighting! Ah! Oh! Whoa! That was awesome! That was the coolest thing I've ever seen! Wait, that guy can box? Winner by knockout is Hunter! What the heck? No way he's gotten good at fighting! I, I don't believe it! I won't! I'm really happy for you, Hunter. That was an incredible win. Thanks. And you know, thanks for not letting me be homeless either. I really appreciate it. I can never let a friend be homeless if I can help it. You can stay here as long as you want. It won't be long, okay? I really believe that I can be a great boxer one day, but I can't do it without you. Here. Wait, what? What's this for? I want you to be my trainer forever. And everything we do from now on is gonna be 50-50. Wow, I believe in you, Hunter. You're gonna go far. I know I will. So let's find a way to win again. Ha, <laughs> hey, you got a lucky win, Hunter. You know you still suck, right? You know I don't care about what you think, right? <laughs> I think you found the one boxer on the planet worse than you. That's the only way you won. Oh yeah? I think I can beat you right here, right now. <laughs> no way! You're terrible. I wouldn't waste my energy on you. Well, it seems like you don't have anything to be afraid of, right? What's stopping you? Uh, nothing? Uh, shut up! Uh, excuse me, are you Hunter? Yeah, that's me. I'm an executive and I represent a lot of high-profile fighters. I've never seen anyone with those skills since your father was alive. Huh? Hunter? Him? Are you blind? You gotta be kidding! This guy is garbage! Bryce, you're an idiot! This kid could be the greatest boxer of all time! Yeah, that's the goal! We just need to get a few more fights under your belt, and I'll start getting you some big matches! Keep up the good work! This is amazing! Oh, no way! I wanna get noticed by the boxing executives too! It's not fair! Oh, I challenge you to a fight, Hunter! You're on, Bryce! Good! I can't wait to embarrass you in front of that executive! I'm happy you decided to take this fight, Hunter. It could be a big opportunity for you. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a lot more training, John, okay? I don't know if I can handle it. You can say that again. Bryce is a joke, but his fighting skills aren't. We have to work harder than ever then. All right, let's do it. Nice.
nicely done! What do you think? You're ready, man. I know you are. This is it, Hunter. This is your moment. Do not let him get in your head. I won't, okay? I've got this. And now, making his way to the ring, Hunter! Hi, Rap! Hunter's gonna need an ambulance to take him out of here, just like his dad did. Shut up! Your dad would see you as nothing but a disappointment, huh? I mean it, Bryce. Stop talking about my dad! <laughs> this should be easy. Ah! Oh, oh, oh my! Oh, the, the winner is uh, Hunter! A happy surprise! Yeah, Hunter! Yeah, baby! I like that guy! I knew you could do it! Thank you for believing in me, John. He's the only person who ever has. Of course. That's what friends and coaches are for. Hunter, there he is, the big time winner. Congrats, kid. Thanks, man. It was a good fight. Well, felt good at least. Oh, and it looked good. I'm really impressed with you, Hunter. Well done. I think you should get some bigger fights and make more money. Serious money. Yeah, I'm up for it. <laughs> Excellent, good, good. You could become a really famous boxer if you play your cards right, kid. Trust me. Well, that's what I always wanted, and I want to do it for my dad. Listen, I'll contact you with the next big fight. This is going to be big, Hunter. Huge! Hey, uh, Hunter. Hey, coach. What's up? Hey, uh, I, I saw the fight. Y you got pretty good. Yeah, well, I found someone who actually believed in me. Felt nice. <sighs> Look, I'm really sorry for everything, man. You're only sorry now because I'm good. I'm finally getting recognition, and so is my new coach. Look, I thought I was looking out for you. I was just doing what I thought was best. And so was I. Not giving up was the best thing that I ever did. Listen, Hunter, come back to our gym and train with me. I'll let you come back for free. Look, I appreciate it, okay? But I'm sorry. I only train with John now. And I wouldn't go back to someone who didn't believe in me in the first place. Oh, please, man, uh, do it for me at least. Why? Why should I? Because Bryce was our best fire, and, and you beat him. He's old news now. You're starting to climb your way to the top. It could be great for me in the gym. No, you had your chance. I'm doing things my way from now on. Later, coach. Oh, that stupid hunter is such an idiot. I hate him and his idiot face. Coach, is it true that stupid hunter is coming back here? Uh, no way, Bryce. Hunter sucks. I asked him, but he wouldn't come back. Oh, why did you ask him? We don't need him anyway. Oh, yes we do, you idiot! If Hunter becomes famous, everyone will want to train what he trains! Oh, well, maybe we should stop him from becoming famous because he sucked and doesn't deserve it! I deserve it! I want to be famous! Me! Look at my muscles! I'm strong! Uh, he will be famous, Bryce! More famous than you! I can tell. You need to be better! Train harder! Oh, this sucks! Hunter's going to get all the fame now and Coach wants him back! Oh, I'm not going to let this happen. Hunter will not become the greatest of all time. I'll make sure of it. Hunter, I'm glad you can make it. Welcome to my office. Thanks, I'm really excited to be here. Oh, everyone is thrilled to watch you fight more, Hunter. Your first fight on TV is tomorrow night. What? A fight on TV? No way, that's awesome. <laughs> I know it is, and if you win, you'll have four more if you want them. I definitely want them. Whatever you can throw at me, I can take. Ah, uh, that's the attitude I like to hear. You're a winner, Hunter, and you're gonna be really rich. I'm ready for this. And I'm ready to make us some money. Woo! This is the moment that we've been waiting for, John. It's time for you to show the world what you're made of, Hunter. I want a clean fight, both of you. Yeah, you know you suck, right, Hunter? You're like the worst person I've ever seen fight. You don't even know how to throw a punch. Ah, ah, told you, you idiot. Yeah. Wow. Oh. One, two, no, three. No, I can't lose. I won't. Just stay down, man. Ah. Huh? Ah. Ah, that was unexpected. Ah. And Hunter is the I did it! I did it! Are you ready to do this again? Because we have a whole tour of fights ahead. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh boy, I can't believe what we're witnessing, folks. Hunter might just be the next biggest thing in boxing.
Jackson. He's showing potential to become the greatest of all time. Oh, this can't happen. How's that stupid loser winning so much? What has he got against me? The sky's the limit for Hunter. He's got a series of fights coming up, and greatness truly awaits. Oh, no, no. It should have been me. It should have been me. You know what? This is going to be me. <laughs> Hunter thinks he's unstoppable now. Ha! I need to put a stop to this. Head fast! I can do this. I can win all of these fights. I know I can. And I'm gonna win them for you, Dad. Watch this. I can't lose! I can't! Oh! It's really happening! We love you, Hunter! You're the best! I'm really doing it! We love you, Hunter! Wow! Thank you guys for the support! Seriously! Hi! We need to talk! What do you want, Bryce? You're just getting lucky, you know that, Hunter? It's not fair that you're getting famous. That doesn't make any sense. This is what you wanted to talk about? Yeah, I wanted you to remember who you really are. A big, fat loser. You don't deserve any of this. Yeah, I did. I put in the work, and I gained the skill to get these wins. I worked hard for this, Bryce. Uh, I work hard too, you know. Sure, maybe you do. But you didn't want it as bad as I did. I was obsessed with being the greatest. And now I'm on my way to becoming just that while you're sitting here obsessing over my wins. Oh, you suck, Hunter. Put me on TV with you, and I'll show the world who's better. No way, man. You're not even in my league anymore, and the networks won't put someone on your skill level against a seasoned fighter like me. Oh, <laughs> you owe me, Hunter. Get me on TV so I can be famous, too. Come on. You just back off. You want the fame? Then earn it. Oh, I hate him so much. I'm going to destroy him. We're really making it happen, John. You're the one making it happen, Hunter. Well, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I'm just glad we decided to room together in this huge mansion. It gives us the opportunity to train even harder. Absolutely, man. We can put in an extra eight hours of training each week. And considering I was homeless not long ago, this mansion is incredible. Keep doing what you're doing, Hunter. You're doing great. Hey, what's on your mind? Look, there's a fight coming up. A fight for the world championship. What? What fight? Action sports start now! Hunter might actually be the greatest fighter we've ever seen in our entire lives! <laughs> I don't think that's even a question! Yeah, we'll find out in a few weeks when he fights for the championship belt and the title of the greatest of all time! Yeah, he wins, there's no argument about who's the best! If you're sitting on your couch watching this right now, I bet you wish you were Hunter! Oh, you aren't gonna help me to beat famous Hunter? You think you're better than me? <laughs> well, guess what? This ends now! I'm gonna win this fight. I'm gonna make you proud, Dad. I need time now, idiot. Uh, uh. Ow! Ah! Ah! My hand! Ah! My hand! It's killing me! No! Not again! Didn't see that tripwire, did ya? <laughs> see how good you fight now! Help! Someone please help! What is it? Is my hand okay? Ah, uh, well, you broke your hand again, Hunter. Again! I knew it. I have to fight for the world championship in a few weeks. This can't be happening. Hey, by the way, uh, I was wrong about you. You don't suck at boxing. Thanks. I think your dad would actually be proud of you, too. You know, you're gonna have to wait to be the champion, though, because you can't fight like this. Remember what happened last time? Look, this is my only shot, though. If I say no and back down, we'll give the opportunity to someone else. Well, I know you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway, because you never listen to me. So why do I even bother giving you advice? My goodness! Look, I'm sorry. I don't have a choice. I'm not gonna miss this opportunity. This is my moment. Hunter, are you sure you can do this? If you lose, it can ruin your entire career too, you know. This is my moment, John. We've come this far. We just have 
to finish it now. Okay, man. If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks. And, uh, how's your hand? It's really broken, okay? And I I'm in a lot of pain. Hunter in the ring! You're gonna lose, kid. Yeah? We'll see about that. Ah! Ow! Ah, my hand! This is gonna be easy. Ow! Ah! One, two... Come on. You can do this. You got this. Huh? Ah! Ow, my hand. Ow. Uh, this isn't over. Ah! Uh! Wins! Oh, no. Oh, can't be. I did it. Hunter is officially 